Well, did the font change on our <laughs> on our counter? What the? I didn't touch it. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna ten more minutes. It's Chris with the brand new counter, Sam. <laughs> um, why is why, why is, is it doing a, weird a different font? font face? Yeah, I have no idea. I didn't touch anything. It doesn't really matter. It's not even registering the people that are here yet. I'm so. gonna have to change that. Maybe it'll update. Maybe, maybe it's, yeah. Maybe it's glitched up or something like that. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Perpetually zero people, even though we clearly know there's people here. <laughs> what up, Striker? What up, Space Grant Blue? Thank you for dropping in that cord. I totally Lily, remember how thank to play you, this game. Thank you for uh, thank you for the hearts. Who are you people? <laughs> I don't recognize this town. What are you people doing here? Time to start a new file. These people are a bunch of scrubs. A bunch of losers. Uh, I totally remember what I was doing. Right, so we that's were, why we're through the desert. Yeah. Area. <laughs> Things, remembering stuff. Uh, we're going through the desert area, gathering up stuff that we uh. So the the thought process was um, let's uh. Let's get back into our groove. I'm like 10 lesson plans in brain thought wise. So, um, there it goes. Now it's yeah. the good font, I think. Yeah, that, I think, yeah, that's you know, the right. Is it? Yeah, no, that's mm. the right font, I think. Okay, maybe I was just. No, the, uh, zero, was di the zero was definitely was different. Was it different? It was okay, not cool, the. Cool, cool, cool. It's not the correct it one. Was not the I guess it just FF didn't load up correctly. A few. Hey, what up, guys? Hey, Can we do everybody. some dirt chart? Do it, hell. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I've been making lesson plans all morning, so that's where my thought process yeah. has been. I was like, oh, right, stream. So, so our plan for this was that uh, gather shit we would gather stuff, get yeah. back into our desert groove, and then get as Try far as we can, for go for a door, come back full heal, have enough potions and everything, and then go for the boss. Oh, okay. Because it seemed sure. a little hard to do it all at one go. Yeah. And um, I have the weapon to finally take care of this stuff. But what's everyone up to this nice, fine... Sweltering Sunday afternoon. It's uh, it's a, it's a nice 91 in this room right now. It's well, like no, yeah. like no, it's 80, it's 87, or yeah. 87. So I mean, outside's not that bad. For a day when we don't have sun. to record, it's not sh not shabby. But... I was sitting out in the sun. It did not feel good. Okay, well inside the house, <laughs> it was fine this morning. Um, I wouldn't say it was like oh perfect. Yeah. But no, I would it, say it like it, ain't bad. it wasn't that bad. You're sleepy. Me too. Oh, I'm, I'm hella sleepy. I. I'm just like, ugh, can I, I just, can I just do something that doesn't require my brain for a bit? I have a full week of teaching, too, starting tomorrow. <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's going to be different because weren't you usually doing, what, three three to four days? Uh, no, I've been doing a full day schedule for the last month. Oh, have you? Um, I, thought, yeah, yeah. I thought there was like some days you got off or something like that. No, I haven't had a single day off. Oh, shit, um, dude. That sucks. Some days are less classes than others. Like, I have two classes on one day and four classes on another, but okay, I have something so every day. Okay, so they're a little harder. I gotcha, yeah. Yeah, some are harder than others, but there's always something that I gotta teach. Uh, and I make up for any class that I miss by teaching my um, animation mentor class on Fridays. Oh, that's cool. Though. Which is yeah, keeps going you busy. well. Yeah. In the, in the good ways? Oh, yeah, busy in a good way. It's fun teaching them all this stuff. We're working on three-point perspective, two-point perspective this week with a bunch of my classes. What's the difference between two and three? Not to so, make you teach a class here, too. No, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm our not... friend Danielle, who came over to do a social distancing thing with Jen today, uh, asked me the very same question. Um, so the two things I'm teaching, actually not two-point, well, I am doing two-point. I'm doing two-point, three-point, and atmospheric perspective. Uh -huh. Best way to describe atmospheric perspective is if you ever look at a mountain in the distance, you mm. notice how it gets lighter? Mm, I mean, yeah, because the atmosphere? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I That's, was like, lighter? No. But, yeah. Oh, but you're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, as it yeah. gets further away, the atmosphere starts to affect how you perceive things. Yeah. No, and I got, then, I gotcha. uh, two-point perspective, best way to describe it is looking from a street corner, seeing the buildings at an angle. Mm -hmm. uh, and three-point perspective is if you're Zoe or a little dog and you're looking up towards humans. Um, so worm's eye view or bird's eye view. That's what, what? three-point perspective is. So it's like looking up towards something that's really tall. Like if you're so, ever looking like a building. What is that, like an X or a Y axis thing? Or yeah, it's like, is that, I don't know what don't, you would huh, okay. see axis maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the difference between the two. I was just yeah. like, is it an act? Is, it's I know it in terms of or? like two points. I know it in terms of the points and where the lines go on the pieces of okay. paper. Okay. So well, I, I'm I not, I, yeah. the 3D equivalent, I'm not exactly sure I gotcha. what that is. I gotcha. Most uh, of the time, most illustrators don't use... 
we don't use three point too often. It's like for dramatic shots. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to do almost kind of like like a, a Dutch angle in a movie where you're kind of you yeah, really kilter something. Yeah, but Dutch angles like you can do like two point and one point. Yeah, um, yeah. I understand that they're different. I'm just saying like you yeah. you would only use it to emphasize some, some yeah, kind exactly. of something inside of that frame or that picture. Like or, Jaf- yeah. like Jafar from Aladdin. Like oh his first shot like when he's the snake that's like a three point perspective shot because you're looking from a so huge. Okay. Or you're looking at a Gundam from the ground, that type of stuff. Okay. Uh, is it just me, or does that 11 look weird on the counter? Why no. is one of the ones thicker than the other one? <laughs> it just has an extra C to it. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Lily, Mike hasn't gotten back to me about the uh, tassels. Uh, yeah, Mike's yet. been really busy. He's been busy, so uh, when he gets back to me, I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to say uh, probably no tassels. But uh, I'll, I'll let you know when he gets I back don't think to me. Mike's a tassel kind of guy. Where did you go? Oh, you okay? You went through the door. I already beat the boss, yeah. No, no, no. I, I I thought that was the case, but I didn't see you like go through the door, and I thought you glitched again. Oh no! Like that one time Hopefully in the forest not. one. Hopefully not. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, pop, pop. It's pop, nice getting pop. over, uh, being able to see a friend. Um, for yeah, the first it's nice time to have in months. Danielle. Over. Uh, Everybody's being social distancing and staying nice, sitting outside, staying, you know, distances away, you know, making sure everything's safe. But all day it's nice is. being able to see other people. I mean, that's I'm why just... I've done like social distancing with my mom and my dad a couple times. I don't yeah. do it often, but you know, outside, wearing a mask, all that chill stuff. Maybe a little over precautious, but I'd rather be over precautious. Oh, especially when you're dealing with family, you don't want to oh, get them sick or anything. Hell yeah. You know, or, or get sick from them, depending on what they're doing. Exactly. Like I'd that. rather, like, have someone say, oh, you're being <laughs> silly. It's like, okay, I'd rather be silly and say. Yeah, I'd rather be silly and, and sensitive to uh, the possible health dangers for my family. Oh, it's than the other not. way. The other way? Okay, this changes it. This moves it to my house, and this breaks. Let's go ahead and fix that. Um, let's go ahead and put this here. And what do I want to send? Ooh, I want to send that tome to my house. That's a good idea. Sorry, I was sending a text to uh, uh, Danielle, our friend who's here. Yes. Uh, has to move her car so that the uh, so that Lenny, who's working in the garage, can, yes. can move out. So I was just sending her a text, being like, "Hey, he's ready to leave. He wants to get <laughs> out of here. Ooh, be a fanny." Mm-hmm. Um. The, uh, that over here. Uh, that's why I got quiet real quick. And okay, let's put um, that over there. Hey, hyperspace cats, you got the de- hey, make me pretty for death road. To, uh, you, you get the death road to Canada thing. That's awesome. You make me pretty. Go to uh, Discord. What Fill that? out. Go to the death road to Canada. You shifty motherfucker. Section on the Discord. Look for the pin and fill out the little gotcha. uh, profile information with uh, gotcha. much, as much as you can give me, and I'll do my best to make your character. In Death Road to Canada. Hopefully, you'll show up on uh, Thursday. Cool. Ooh. I saw you were getting real close there. Uh, hyperspace catch. Cats. HSC. Put that there. <coughs> Congratulations, man. Congrats. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? Oh, yes, I can. Oof, that door is 18,000. <coughs> yes. You have enough, but yeah. We're at 32 right now. Oh, that's right. I could just do that and kind of make my way up to the boss and then yeah. bail. <clears throat> um, I believe if, Fume suggested that last time. If you oh, wanted to... I could have done that too. Yeah, if, if you want to bail out, that would be probably a good idea because... Uh, I mean, you know, you still have... I need this. I need that. You still have uh, all of your potions and stuff, man. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, I only have two. They're very weak potions, so these ones aren't very good. Um... Uh, Bottle size indicates how yeah, well how much they are. Heals, yeah. uh, Jack says, I have some news. Let's call it news. Having hey. supper at my cousin's place, I tried a bit of wine. It wasn't very good in my opinion, and I didn't have much. But I'm pretty sure that's my first time having an adult beverage. In other news, I'm feeling slightly lightheaded. <laughs> it, wine, I think is, uh, wine is a little strong, but I mean, if, if it's only a sip, uh, it's it's probably just placebo effect, some, man. Yeah, if you, if you just had a sip, like... You know, unless you're Ooh, seven, unless you're 80 pounds, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm 11. Oh, okay, maybe you are then. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have alcohol for a long time, it can hit you harder. Um, if you don't have it in a while, like I know it does that to me. Uh, but yeah, most likely just placebo. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's cool though that your uh, your family let you try some of that. That's that's awesome. Yeah, wine isn't the. It can get kind of acidic for people who don't drink it regularly or. 
or you know really know what to expect you would think sweet sometimes right but depending on it depending on it you know maybe it was a dessert wine or something that those are kind of more sweeter um is the audio coming through okay guys yeah. i heard static oh, for them the shelves are coming back to jack the stream is it is it goofing up we have the fan on it might actually just be picking up on the fan could be uh let's see what else could i get rid of i'm just gonna it's fine now but it was super static for that's fucking weird that's weird <clears throat> i'm looking down we dropped no frames i blame twitch oh uh, well we did go down to about 2700 upload uh kilobytes per second when our usual is about 3500 hmm. we sound great the fan cool. is in on it. The fan is in on the shelves. <laughs> I believe it. Okay, well, so long as it's not that picking it up, if it was that, I'd, we'd turn it off. But we haven't had any complaints about it previously. Gotcha. It might be the fan fucking doing it. Could be. <laughs> oh, oh. So I texted Danielle to move her car real quick. Yeah. And she texted me back uh, the middle finger. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> She's like, fuck you. But <laughs> well, she moved her car. <clears throat> Come on. You only got the static when I was talking? Well, okay, hold on. <clears throat> let me double check my... Let me try and plug and unplug my mic just in shiny case. Shiny area. Ooh, I can. Hopefully that didn't pop in your guys' ears when I went through and did that. And fall down the hole! Um, but it, did, it, did it make a loud noise? I'm sorry, guys. I don't really want to do this because I'm already out of room. Yeah, I mean, well, you could you could drop that door and come back. Yeah, but I haven't got to the last boss room yet, so I was gonna wait. It did pop, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll give you a better warning next time if I do that. I'll try to. I'm oh, sorry, loot. Yeah, I mean, getting left behind. That's, that's the point. Sometimes, gotta figure out what you want the most of. All right, what's over here? So would this be three third point? Three point perspective? No, this would be isometric perspective. Okay, okay. So the bird's eye is slightly different. Yeah, bird's eye is slightly different. It's more extreme. Okay. Yeah, this would be considered. I mean, would something like Diablo 2 or 3 Diablo be 3, yeah, it's like isometric. Isometric like also? classic. Okay. Yeah. I don't. <clears throat> I understand the terms enough to know what they, you know, like. The, the terms of, would be like of isometric perspective. as well. Uh, but I don't know them enough to be able to like delineate which is which, you know. Yeah, isometric is like kind of top. Is basically top down. Isn't it kind of uh, tilted? Tilted, a little like bit. angled. Sometimes, yeah. It really just depends on what you want to do. I mean, there's not too much of a perspective. This like it doesn't really follow perspective rules. So isometric's like the best one that can uh, okay. be described for I've it. I've seen isometric in terms of like D and D maps and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, more of that kind of like uh, tilted, like Dyson logo maps and stuff like some, that. Some one could say that this is one point based on the walls moving at an angle. Um, I don't know the this center fits. one point, just because yeah. the walls are angled out from the. Just because you have that walls are slightly angled out, okay. you could say it's one point perspective in that regard. But even then, is kind of stretching it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like one one point perspective would probably work for this. Probably but, be a better way of doing yeah. it. Okay. ISO one point. It's all. I mean, perspective is just a guide to help you. Yeah. Figure um, out what, how you like want to draw and angle things out. Pretty or? much, yeah, to make sure things stay consistent. Um, but we flub and break the rules all the time whenever we see fit. Yeah. We break it with the aspect. Yeah. Knowing the rules helps you break them in a way that makes art, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Lily says, I need a nip, but there's a fuzzy baby on my tummy. <laughs> the kitty cat. Okay, don't know how much that sells for. Back to the wine thing, but I don't know much about qualifies as a sip. I took two sips to finish the drink, but they were not very long sips, and they're, you're probably right about it being placebo. Yeah, most of the time, man, like, two glasses of wine would be for, like, like an adult-sized person. Be like, wow, okay. And I mean, like, you know, uh, restaurant glasses of wine. Not the entire glass filled up. I mean, like, you know, about halfway. And three, what is it? What is it? Four ounces or so for wine? As a, like a four-ounce pour? Mm, Maybe a six I ounce pour or something like that. If you took a sip, like it probably wasn't enough. Take a man. sip, not enough to make you drink a but whole I'm, glass. I'm, I'm happy. Say, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm happy that you got to uh, experience something new like that. It's exciting. Uh, I remember when I was a little little kid, my dad let me try. Uh, I think it was like a Budweiser beer, or it was just one of those piss water beers. Gross. And I tried it. I was like, that's disgusting. And my sister loved it. 
<laughs> and my dad was like, we need to watch her. Turned out it was me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that fucking beer is nasty. Um, I have a, what up LJ? Um, I had a friend, Lindsay, uh, just hit me up today. She was like, oh, we went to... Uh, I'm not talking about her eggnog again, are we? No, her, eggnog's, gross. her eggnog is delicious. Um, Too much of it. I, I, yeah. If, eggnog, I love eggnog. And that's like I love something like 10% too. of people can even say at all. Just because really? yeah, eggnog is like one of those things that people hate. Like they'll take really? a sip and be like, that was nice. I don't ever want to go near eggnog again. That's kind of the general, at least from what I've heard, general wow. reaction. I heard people I love fucking eggnog. hate eggnog. People in my family freaking love it. My brothers would drink it by the gallon. Um, I, I used to, as a kid, drink eggnog to the point of stomach turning, throw up, and diarrhea. Like, that's how much I love eggnog. Yeah. Um, and as an adult, now that I get level. to add alcohol to it, it's like, oh, well, <sighs> hell yeah. Got to keep it pure. Get, I don't, I don't add like adding. Some, add some whiskey or, or bourbon uh, or brandy or, you know, gross. something to zest it up. I've never had eggnog with alcohol in it and enjoyed it. It's always felt like, why can't you just leave it as the perfect thing that it already is? Yeah. I mean, it's good. My grandpa used to um, do uh, eggnog kind of like the gallon jugs that you would pour out or the, the half gallon, I guess it probably is. And then um, he would put in a uh, block of eggnog ice cream. You know how you kind of mm. get those ice cream blocks from like a Safeway or something? That's all right. And I'm would okay cut it that. into pieces and drop it in so it keeps it cold, but also makes it thick, kind of like a frosty. Uh, That's an fucking, addition I can get behind. It was fucking good. Like I will say the one that Lindsay made did taste well, but I still prefer it without it. The uh, it, Well, it, it's definitely a... A special thing with the way she did it. She does aged eggnog. Yeah. Which I still don't understand. I mean, it's a milk product, so how the hell do you age it? I don't. Well, what? unless LJ, you're lactose intolerant, I would highly recommend it. Eggnog yeah, try is. It. You gotta try and find if you actually like it or not. Yeah. Um, it's got kind of a nutmeggy I've taste. I've had vegan to it, eggnog yeah. as well. It's not that bad. Well, the only thing that makes eggnog not vegan is the egg Eggs. right yeah but you can totally make it without mm -hmm. yeah because my brother switched to being a vegan not too long ago so he, and he loved eggnog so he had to find a way of still getting his eggnog fix <laughs> while maintaining his uh values on veganism yeah whatever it is the uh i'm sure he did like a cream of tartar or something, something like, that. like that i yeah. don't know um i always try vegan food whenever he's around which is fine because uh i like it I, mean, I would never if, be a vegan. If you but... make good food, that is good food. But generally yeah. speaking, you have to try really hard to make something good. Kind of like uh, if you're going to do like keto. <laughs> yeah. People are like, yeah, well, I couldn't do like keto food. It's like, yeah, it's, keto it's, not, food. it's not all very good. A lot of it is just kind of like, this is a poor fucking imitation of the real thing. <laughs> um, which is pretty common because you have to substitute things that would be ideal. Like... You know, not for keto, but for, for veganism, like eggs and milk and, you know, other other things like that. Other insert vegan things here. You might as well use your healing items yeah, to heal up just... and snatch those up because those are bigger. Yep. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, come on. Come here. You haven't used the door yet, right? No, I have to wait until I get rid of these jokers. Okay. No, I mean, like, oh. uh, uh, if you just got these new potions, like, you're, you're in a pretty good setup. Uh, oh, is Fume going night-night? Uh, Stream going night-night? Is, is Fume going night-night? Good night, uh, Fume. Night oh, I got I to sleep. Love you, too. <laughs> Bye, Fume. Boom. That's Come right. On. It's really Stop late moving. over there. I forgot about that. Yep, he's not on the West Coast anymore. You're well, he's the on the coast. Across not... the pond. Yeah. Or however they say it in uh, whatever it's called. Chocolate Land. Chocolate Land? <laughs> Scandin what, what is that? Uh, Sc Scandinavia? Switzerland. Switzerland. There we go. I was like, best name? Switzerland. Boss floor is in next, everybody, right? I have a room. I still have one more mid boss, right? Uh, I don't know. Chocolate, chocolate land. You know, Hershey-topia. Yeah, Hershey-topia. It's not real chocolate. <laughs> chocolate? I love chocolate. Chocolate! I wish I had chocolate right now. 
I had um, scarfed down two soft tacos before we did this. Cause like, oh shoot, I haven't <laughs> eaten yet today. We've got eclairs in the in the fridge oh, or the damn. freezer. You guys are killing me. Ah, uh, Jen bought them. I, I know. Man. I know. I'll still eat them. Uh, I can't say no. Don't eat them frozen. Uh, let like pull a couple out if they if, if Jen and Danielle don't destroy them. That, that, that's probably um, by now already. But uh. Pull, pull like a handful out and leave them to thaw for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes out in the in this heat. And uh, because otherwise they're just like rock solid and you're just mm. eating them and it just tastes it's kind like of rock like, candy. like chocolate ice. Uh, it doesn't taste like a creamy anything. It's just like, oh, this is, I can that eat was like, not worth the calories. <laughs> I don't know. I can eat like one eclair and that's kind of basically it. And then my stomach's like, nope, we're done. Uh, these like, are we're these done. are little baby ones. They're like uh, like the size of uh, two knuckles on your finger. My That's body it. will still say it's too much. <laughs> they're not they're not overly sweet. They're they're pretty much uh, just kind of like a like a cream filled with just the lightest of chocolate. I've never met an eclair that I can eat more than one of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I grab only one. Do do your thing. Um, but it's not. It's definitely not donut sweet. I will say that. Yeah. Um, but they're pop, they're okay. Pop. Um, Give me all your loot. They're out there doing a cheese and meat plate, but by the time I got out there, mm. it was all sweaty. Yeah, the, uh, the cheese had like you know that kind of like Ooh, dew drop on it. Like, uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, hard pass. Yeah, I, I might get some when it gets cooler, but yeah, okay. S sweaty, sweaty meat and cheese. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until it's chill. Send that to my house. You really want a strawberry shortcake now? Speaking of desserts, ah, uh, strawberry shortcake. Okay, I would that like there. that would be nice. That would be delicious. Um, you made some tofu chips. Yeah, those turned that out were good. That, good. That sriracha one was awesome. Yeah, I liked how they turned out. Um, um, one of them was a little hard. It kind of hurt my teeth. Yeah, no, I, I found that out too with some of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first time I've done the recipe, so it's uh, <clears throat> it's got some kinks to work out. Yeah. Um, I think if I don't bake, we all? I think I gotta bake them a little, a little less. less, and also cut them a little thinner. Yeah. Um, just to hydrate them a little bit more. What is yeah. it like? Low temp in the oven? Over it's time? supposed to be low temp. It's at 250 for like 20 minutes. But when I looked, I was like, they're not done. Yeah. Um, and I think even if I let them dry, it's like they feel like they need more time in the oven. So did like, you, I cooked for like an hour. Did you use your press like to draw I did, more additional yeah. moisture out? Maybe maybe it's a different type of tofu then that helps out more. Because you know they have moisture levels and stuff. So yeah. Like, so maybe there's a drier one that it's really intended for, like 20 minutes in the yeah. oven. If you're using a drier tofu. These were firm tofu, so I don't know the difference. I mean, I, know I would the think a firm would be less I would water think, filled. Would think so. Yeah. Know? And I pressed them out, so I don't know. There's so but, many uh, minuscule things with tofu. I'll probably that... try it again. I wanted something other than pita chips that was maybe lower calorie. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it'd be good. I mean, like we have the sriracha powder. Yeah, even, that's like, what the I use. Oh, that's what, okay. I was like. So I used some avocado oil, some sriracha powder, and nice. um, some garlic, nice. along with like a little bit of uh, salt on it. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. And they turned out rather well. I like them, um, but yeah, definitely want to cook them. A little less. They're kind of like spongy chips. It's weird, but yeah. they taste good. Wait, uh, fucking like umami or something would be good on it too. Like maybe like a teriyaki yeah, or something. Yeah, something so you can get like kind that. of like a. Like they a taste deeper... really good with hummus. Um, I will say that. But hummus can pretty much go with anything. Yeah. Well, what can hummus go with? Uh, Dorito chips. I I would eat hummus with Doritos. It depends on the Doritos. Maybe Cool Ranch, but I don't think I could eat regular. I Cheeto. think I could do. Like, I think I could do like a hummus, like a garlic hummus with the spicy red bag of, of Doritos. Okay, maybe. That I think I could work. do like that, kind of like a, like a spicy garlicky kind of thing. What up, Fred? Hey, Fred. Because I love hummus, uh, but I'm always calorie conscious, so I'm like, uh, how can I squeeze out a little less calories? Yeah, at least hummus is healthier, you know. Yeah, hummus than, is than yeah. most equivalents of dips. Yeah, I'm not getting French <laughs> dip, so you know. It's definitely a little bit less, for sure. The, um, uh, I was saying, there, there's some yogurt dips and stuff that are probably The yogurt bit that more... I have right now, which is more of a Greek yogurt, I actually finally like. Um, yeah. And it's really not that high in calories. It's probably good for your stomach, too, right? With the, uh, uh, with the probiotics and everything of Greek yogurt? I would think so. I wasn't thinking about that when I got it. I was just like, I need some variety in my freaking palate right now, because I have nothing. Do they sell midnight taco? I don't know what that is, LJ. What are midnight taco oh, Doritos? No. I don't know what that is. They I don't sound like awesome. That. I'm. You're at the boss room. Oh. Uh, I mean, you can leave anytime. Can you leave with the door here before triggering him? 
can you leave it? Oh no, it's just 24 and it's blacked out. Uh, I'm bailing. Boss with the ghost following okay, you. Okay, yeah, so yeah, two, no, that was two worth. middles. Boss and, with the ghost following you was what Blue was saying, and yeah. that's yeah, no, that's not ideal. It's that's, safer that we. Yeah, that one was a warm up. Yeah, <laughs> I just wish I'd gotten all that loot, but um. Oh well. It yeah, Jay, I don't, I don't know what midnight taco Doritos are. Midnight taco sounds like they understand their their fan base. I wish I liked the Dorito tacos. Um. They just always fall apart. Every time I get them, yeah. there's no consistency to the shell, and they just immediately fall apart. It tastes yeah. good. But Black bag, and I haven't seen them since, like, March. I'm, I'm going to look that up now. Midnight Taco Doritos. I mean, I Black Bag sounds right. Midnight Taco Dorito. Let's see. What, what do we got here? Late Night Tacos? Doritos Incognitas Mexican Chips Sabritas. I don't think that's it. Tacos at late night, tacos at midnight. What the fuck is, what are they supposed to taste like? I have no idea. Oh shit, I got loot in here? No, it has, yeah, it's a black bag with kind of like a uh, neon light sign that says late night in blue, tacos at midnight. Huh. Um, what is, it's just what, taco flavored? I'm selling that shit. Original, it's, it's just a original taco? They got late night all nighter cheeseburger? What the fuck? It's <laughs> on that shit. It's on this. Definitely it's on those. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll pull up the thing. <clears throat> I have prices for a lot of these. Well, I, have so, it, I have it ready for you. But yeah, have in that the, on uh, the, In the desert section. So whenever you're ready. Have that on the ready for the stuff that I don't know. Look at all that money. Kettle chips. Oh. Kettle chips are delicious. Depending love... on the type of kettle chip. You know what I don't like as much? The thin chips. Like, uh, what are they? Thin lays? Or, or what are How those? much is a broken battery? Broken battery. I think those are expensive. Let me see. I don't know. You gave me one for free one time. Uh, it wasn't broken. <laughs> I know. But that was the only way to make that joke work. Uh, broken battery. 3135. That's actually from the tech dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. 3135. So 3,000? Uh, yeah, 3,135. Okay, cool. Put you up, put you up, put you up. Yeah, no, that makes sense, uh, LJ. Can't describe the flavor outside of taco-like. Yeah, no, that, I mean, that's adequate. That's, that's pretty pretty accurate, I'd I'm okay say. with that I mean, without having tasted them, I'm like, I think I understand how that would taste. We get what you're coming from. Little little um, kind of zesty, little kind of uh, like a beefy, but with the cheese, you know, kind of Torito style to it, right? What would that be? Uh, cumin, like a little cumin flavor. Sell some of those. Never had taco from these. anywhere outside of your home. You've never had a taco anywhere other than homemade. You obviously don't live in California. Well, I mean. Homemade might be the best ones. Like, so maybe Homemade's that's, are definitely maybe that's the best good. One. Maybe that is a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> nope, in Sweden. Okay, no, that. Okay, that checks out. <laughs> that uh, that checks out. Because if you were living in California, obviously people live around other places in the world. But Sweet. What are Swedish tacos like? I don't even know. <laughs> There's got to be somewhere that you could get some. Um, but yeah, you'd really have to probably go out of your way to find tacos yeah yeah fred explains why i usually miss streams you too. can't find tacos sense. in sweden that's just i mean too maybe bad. maybe they're just you need to not go on something a quest. you would seek out you know yeah. you need to go on a quest to find tacos tacos are delicious i can't verify for the quality of swedish tacos i don't know where you would get the shells but you could always do street tacos if you had corn tortillas mm. I don't know how you screw up street ta tacos, but I'm sure someone in New York has screwed them up. I've never had a bad, <laughs> like, taco. Like, even Taco Bell tacos, they're just suckier. Yeah, but it's still, but like, I'll that's still a good it. taco. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, still, like, it. meat and corn tortilla. Yeah, you know? that is a taco I will eat. But I'm I'm with the greens, like, yeah, you can pretty much make your own. You can make better ones at your house most of the time. Unless you're going to, like, a really good, like, yeah. Mexican restaurant. That's different. Um... You can't eat gluten, so you have to eat the corn. So you have to eat the corn things. Corn tortillas? Yeah. Mm. Corn tortillas are where it's at, man. I like flour better, but corn tortillas are all right. Yeah. The uh, corn is, was, is more traditional. Yes, corn is far more traditional. 
Um, and I think they crisp up a little bit better. They're definitely crispier. It just every time I always get them, whenever I go to a restaurant, they fall apart too much. Um, there's like a textureness too. Like sometimes when they make them, it doesn't mm -hmm. taste very good. I, if, it, it might be uh, because they use was a masa. Maybe yeah. Um, I think it's called where it's that's kind of a. Uh, what is the term I'm thinking of? It is a uh, masa is mixed no, to the mixed to realization, mixed realization or something like that, uh, where they like grind up the. Hey, look, it's Ryu. The uh, it is Ryu, uh, where they grind up the corn um, in a certain way. I think it might even be with kind of like a uh, like a mortar and pestle. Might be, yeah. Uh, type of deal. I'm, I'm not entirely good, sure. I've had good corn tortillas too before. Like I'm not knocking them. Yeah. I just, if I have a choice, I pretty much always choose flour. Yeah, I get you. I get you. But give me Mexican food any day. I am down. I'm oh, happy. Yeah. Customer. Fucking Mexican food is rocking. I. Uh, it just sucks because it's so carby. Yeah, I mean, I've found a way to make pretty low carb mm -hmm. ones. Um, but you definitely have to go out of your way if you're going to a traditional restaurant. Yeah. Um, you are not going to uh, find low carb solutions, and even like the way, well, the way I make them is actually pretty low carb. I think I get mine under like 10, 10 to fifteen or something like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to do any notes. Get out of here, Fisherman Joe. The um, that's why we had Mexican at Jen and, Jen and my wedding. Yeah, because um, it's, it's cheap. It's very locally available. Oh, how much um, do, uh, sorry to interrupt, but how much do thermo, in, well, actually, thermo I magnetic need these. Engine? Uh, look up, uh, fire gyms. Thermomagnetic engine is 10k. I'm keeping that, God though, because I need it. What was the other one called? Uh, fire gyms. Uh, 1870. 1870. Okay, let's go with 1800. <clears throat> yeah, man, if, uh, uh, Fred, if you get a chance to, uh, just get some ground beef, you know, and, and or some ground turkey, or one some or the ground other. turkey, yeah. or you know, chicken so all, too. All you really need is uh, some kind of meat. ground beef, you know, maybe cheddar cheese, maybe Monterey Jack cheese. I don't think you're probably gonna get cotilla or anything like that. No, but you know, yeah. these are things that should be readily readily available. Good is pretty good too. Yeah, but I mean, like that's not traditional like taco taco. No, it's not. You know, yeah. I would say ground beef, Monterey Jack cheese. That's and the, the corn typical. tortilla, yeah. and that's really like that's basic. Yes, you can you can. It's like pizza. You could fucking swap in a bunch of different things. The and best thing stuff. and what I love about tacos is just like pizza. You can literally make it however you want, and it's so easy to experiment. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like making a sandwich. You know, it's easy to remember the recipe. There's just basic ingredients, and then you can kind of go to town with however you want. Yeah. Sure, there's like some rules like. Probably don't put <laughs> cinnamon in your taco. That's probably not going to taste very good. Well, I, unless you can, you're you making a certain cinnamon, kind of taco. You could put cinnamon into the meat. Yeah. And if you're, I wouldn't say it's traditional. I wouldn't say it's traditional. But I'm saying either. you could definitely do like a cumin. Unless you make uh, like a sweet cinnamon, taco. you know, type of just to give it a little something. Yeah. I mean, if you're making like a chocolate taco or like oh, a sweet, a like taco. like a choco taco. Oh god, I um, love those things. Yeah, like then obviously, but if we're talking like meat, like tacos, <clears throat> yeah. Choco tacos for the uninitiated used to be sold by Taco Bell back in the day, yeah. and they were waffle cone Terrible taco <laughs> shells <laughs> so good, that though. are filled with. <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. Cream or vanilla ice cream with yes. chocolate swirls throughout it, oh, and god. then dipped in the top kind of like you know the open part of a taco mm -hmm. dipped into chocolate and then uh i believe it had nuts sprinkled on top and mm -hmm. then it was frozen to the point where it kind of had that shell around the open yeah. face oh they're so fucking good it was delicious. so fucking good i don't know how you would make them at home you just have to buy like you could do it if you had like a waffle maker. Yeah. Like Basically, a, or, it's like those like a, waffle cones, like you get um, it's a, from the store. But it's, it's a waffle cone in the shape of a yeah, taco. Basically, yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's a waffle taco. That's all it is. Um, and it was delicious. <laughs> Think a uh, like a drumstick chocolate, uh, like a drumstick vanilla chocolate uh, sundae, like you know. The yes. Drumstick exactly brand. That. Yep. Uh, but pressed into a taco shape. Oh, she's buying something. I will not kick you out then. <laughs> Now I'm gonna keep They're you hella out. good. I I think there's. I'm pretty damn sure they're still around, but I think they're only at specialty stores. 
Hell yeah. 625,000. That's a fucking ton of money. And exit. Your local markets don't even sell lamb anymore, so I don't know if you ever make tacos again. Oh, lamb tacos. I've um, never had lamb before. I, I feel too guilty. I don't know why that. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Something about eating lambs. It's good. I, I'm sh I've heard lamb is really good. It's, it's like good. lamb and duck. I'm like, I, I can't betray the mighty ducks like that. I feel <laughs> terrible. Well, don't what eat the it? children, but eat the ducks. Yeah. I, okay, um, I think maybe that would be the difference, like veal versus lamb. Like veal, like it sounds weird to make a moral like stance on that when I eat chickens, um, but I don't know. Yeah. No, I've uh, I've had duck. It's Maybe good. it's all this Christian guilt building up in me. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, duck is a very, like, uh, Asian-centric cuisine style, you That's know? true. I haven't, like... It's, uh, like, Peking duck, I think it is. Um, it looks really delicious, and, and I would imagine, like, ooh, duck fried rice or something, where you use the duck fat to... Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I mean, we're just at the point now where we would just love to be able to go to... I mean, we can get takeout. It's just mm, hard. Yeah. Um, especially where we live. I saw a video where the, uh, I think it's uh, Sam, the cooking guy. I'm cooking now? Um, <laughs> uh, YouTube famous chef. I'm sure he's done more than no, that. No, I, that's no, no. There's I not know other from. people named Sam in this world, <laughs> other than the three artists I know as Sam. And I think he, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but I think it's called uh, Berea Tacos. Uh, it's like B-A-R-R-I-L-A -R -R or something like that, tacos. Um, and they look so good. Um, they, he kind of did, fuck, I don't even remember what meat it was that he put in there. I think it was. I got a question for Shit, you, though. I don't know. I used to make something for D&D, &D, and I can't remember what it was, but it used to go over pretty well, too. I'm trying to remember what it was I was cooking earlier today. I can't for the life of me remember, and I made it multiple times. Uh, you did potatoes. That's what it was. I think they were red potatoes yeah. cut thin, put into the. Um, okay. Thank didn't you, you. Didn't you like yeah, marinate I, them in like I would marinate oil them in like, or yeah, some, some and kind use, like, of sriracha and stuff yeah. to really spice them up, and yeah. then they would like crisp really well. That's what it was. <clears throat> you kind of did them like like oven fried chips, yeah. but not quite fried. They now were, I remember. They Thank were more you. like baked chips. Um, they were good. Yeah, they were. Oh, I th Pat I think dropping the in the cords. Hey, thank you. Thank um, you, Pat. I think the only reason I stopped was just because of carbs. <laughs> yeah. Was, well, I did, Mike reason. and I and Jen got on Everyone the low keto. Carb kick. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So when they, once they stopped getting, because there's, there's a decent amount of prep work to get that done, right? Yeah. No, I mean not too bad actually. You just had to cut them and then throw them in a giant like thing to let them marinate for a couple hours and mm -hmm. then you're pretty much set um but yeah it just came down to like everyone was going low carb so it was like eh, sure i'll go to low carb too we switched to like nuts and peanuts and cashews and yeah. almonds 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 which are terrible for the environment fuck me right well <sighs> i buy some almonds but like i try and limit the amount like i've had the same giant bag of almonds mm -hmm. for like six months now jeez man like i've I think I, I mix them almonds, in with peanuts. Maybe like a like a bag a month, like a little, like a I think it's a pa one pound bag maybe. So I bought like the big pound bag from our local grocery store, and I just mm -hmm. mix it with like peanuts. That's cool. So like that yeah. way, I'm not like chopping down almonds. Uh, um, almonds are bad for the environment in the way of their. They consume a lot of water. They're highly wasteful of water. Yeah. What is it like? Fucking, and I'm not gonna get it's the like number a right. But isn't amount. it like five gallons per fucking? almond so in, yeah, of water in or something like that yeah specifically in california how like it's been more droughty than uh usual yeah um you know we try and be more morally conscious of that mm. stuff but we're gonna go for a boss run now yeah. that my brain's working lily um, check out the patreon video for your answer some of this um well for the the closest thing i could provide for an answer legit question what is the cat emoji animation bark did i miss what it's joke? not bark it's pork <laughs> well they, they said pork i said bark. okay they said pork um then I mean, we can explain it but i i mean uh that video the patreon video yeah um, is where it originated and your cat and your cat um, Our stupid little joke <laughs> that, that little animation just that's where it came from yeah, uh, that's where it came from. I, it's basically Zoe as our mascot, um, but the joke is, you know, party it's a cat. cat, party <laughs> cat, which is clearly a corgi, but very geometric. Nope, I definitely. God damn it, party cat broke. So I was gonna be, I was just gonna draw like a regular corgi and have it pop up because Zoe would always pop up in my room when I was working on stuff. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then I just draw, drew it extremely bad for the animatic. I was like, that's actually pretty funny. I should just leave it like that. Um, just flat corgi? Just as a flat corgi. Yeah. And I've just kind of kept it because I just like it so much. Uh, how many potions do I have? I have four. I'm going to give myself buy one more of those. The Radiance doesn't like french fries? Fuck her. I knew I didn't like her. Of course she doesn't. Let's buy one. The dumb bright bitch. Uh, oh, I can't make these ones. Everyone's got to like got to like uh french fries god damn it french fries are delicious um i don't know how you don't like french fries oh right i can enhance <clears throat> stuff that's probably a good idea <laughs> uh, did uh did i tell you that uh Mossback got back to me on twitter yes you did but we have not <laughs> mentioned it on stream uh you mentioned it last night but i think you might have just forgotten so um the uh as a jumping off point for the discussion of it yes um the so we get we get comments from time to time. A lot of, of comments. I think we got like three in two days of basically the same like Mossbag wants to know your location. It's like, it was ha, like ha, a ha, fucking original guys, good job. It was a combination of the all void of them comments. just in a row, <laughs> or like Sam no, no, doesn't no. like beer. No, it was I think we were like, hey, is that like our is that like our uh, sibling or is is uh, what was it? Is the Hollow Knight Hornet's dad like joking? Yeah. Or something something like that. Uh, and someone was like, oh, yeah, you know, get on some lore. Mossbag wants to know your location. Mossbag wants to watch your money because you got to go through that door still. Remember? If we're going to be going for the boss. Right. Oh. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll... enough. But I, I hit up Mossbag. And I, well, I, I said on Twitter first. Yeah, I'm uh, good. Uh, Mossbag fans are some of the least fun commenters I've had the displeasure of dealing with. Uh, right alongside Dark Souls fans. Yeah, that's not uh, untrue. Just for the lore reasons. And uh, I hit up Moss Bag and was like, hey, dude, why is your why do your fans have big my dad can fuck up your dad energy? Like, what is what is this shit? And he laughed and goes, you said Horn is void, didn't you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I did. Yeah, he probably gets that But no, he was, he was chill about it. He was cool. I was, and I was joking the whole way too. But I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't get fucking like take this seriously or something. Yeah, we ain't really mad, around. but it's just like, <laughs> it's probably like a, every, once a week we get a comment about that, and I'm sure it's only gonna escalate higher as time goes on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How uh, could you believe this thing? I don't know. It's like because it's a, it's a joke, but it's a joke. It's, but also, a joke. I'm, I'm doubling down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, now, now it's like, oh, now we run with it. <laughs> yeah. But now we antagonize just because it's like, well, I believe that now. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm all for it. Hornet is void. <laughs> Why not? No joke, the first quote-unquote comments on videos bug me a bit. Yeah, no, I went off on somebody. Oh, that's uh, bugging me at their all. Their name is Cringe Bitch on uh, one of our videos uh, because every day for about four days, I'm really early. Ha ha, first. Like, I thought they were a bot for the longest time, so I just no, hit them up. I'm like, thing. And I'm like, yo, but they do it like, I'm early, and it's like an hour and a half after the video went live. It's like, yeah. Mm, are you just a bot? So I was like, yo, are you just going to say that on all the videos? And they actually got back to me, and I was like, okay, so you're not, you're an actual commenter then. Yeah, that used to be like, a thing on YouTube, like, way back in the day. No, like, I, I, I get that. First. But, like, every single video, every time, yeah. every day, for I'm like, what the, is this a bot? Because if it's a bot, I'm going to ban it because it's ruining our fucking analytics. If they're just showing up just to comment and then not watch the video, that's ruining our watch time and shit. And that's stuff I'm watching right now oh. because of the change over our time for the videos being about 15 minutes instead. Right. Well, I don't want a bot skewing that. I want accurate numbers. So I'm like, God damn it. Let me fucking know if this is, you know, a real person or if this isn't. It's a real person. Yeah. I discussed it with them. So no ban, no nothing with that. You know, we figured it out. But I was Grab like, the okay. I just, just felt like a pretty unoriginal bot thing to say on every video. I was used to it because it used to be an achievement on the Giant Bomb website, be the first person to comment. Um, so multiple people would just write first yeah. on a thread back yeah. in the day. No, I, I remember that. I remember that. It was a big thing. It was a big thing. I, I mean, it still is a bigger thing. But it's like, still a thing, but it's not as common. Yeah. Um, um, I'm not going to try and take that. No, because that would give you the ghost, right? Yeah. Not yet anyway, right? Do not get yet. After? I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to ignore it. Um, Screw that other room. I'm Fred, getting out of here. Fred says, by the way, you mentioned watch time being around eight minutes or so per episode. Will you shorten episodes anytime soon? <laughs> Actually, watch time is like six minutes. Um... I think. Uh, actually, I can give you the correct number right now. Whoa, Sente slides in with the corks. Thanks, Sente. 
Thank you. Topped it right off. I think we only lost like four. Um, I can get you that information right now, bud. Let me, let me see. Pop, pop. Discovery, audience, interactive content, playlist. No, where the fuck is it? See you later. <coughs> Discovery. No. Open on day. Maybe up. I can't do it on mobile. <laughs> Revenue. Nope. Um, you can't break it. Average that. view duration right now is six minutes and 49 seconds. Mm. Um, so we dropped episode lengths from 30 minutes to uh, about 15s and just doing two uploads per day instead of the 130, we're doing the 215s. Uh, and those are slowly being put in with our newer videos right now. Yeah, you've noticed it with Fury, if you've been watching that. Mm -hmm. Fury, I think, was one of the first ones that we... Fury was the first one we've done, because we haven't done any recording, which we have to do that this week. Yeah. Um, I did it with Mike, too, but I don't know yeah. if those videos are live yet. I think I they think are. I think the Hell yeah, yeah, Taker yeah. or Taker whatever that 15, is. Yeah. yeah, and then there's another one that you did with <laughs> Mike that was also 15ers. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that's why we write it down, just so we can... Uh, the, the total time watched will still be the same, but the percentage will be higher, which essentially is helping the algor algorithm understand um, that, uh, you know, oh, yeah, more pe they're watching a higher percentage of the video. Plus, then we get things like a click-through rate to worry about. Um, for, like, if we have two videos in one day, the click-through rate for that... Click-through rate for that day is uh better it's all about playing that youtube algorithm game it's shitty but you know if, if you're gonna Same be in the game content, you gotta play though. the game yeah just uh yeah literally nothing up. changes other yeah. than the fact that i have to do twice as many thumbnails and descriptions and titles now yes which is was basically how we started it also was your idea too so you only have yourself no i'm not i'm not complaining <laughs> i'm just saying like the only thing that changed is more work on my end. no yeah that's, no, that's literally the only thing that has changed yeah hey thank you for the follow magic bunny 34 but if you pay attention you'll start seeing two new smiley faces too for everybody except for except for mike i think i have three i added three it, new ones for us and then yeah uh yeah. just two for mike now they're, everyone has 13. they're on my list um i'm trying to find how i feel about them fitting in yeah you um, still need to figure out where to use to them. like because i have like i've been using the other ones for so long now it's kind of yeah, like now you're like which what? Way, where, where would i put these what is the motion that we're giving through on this you know no yeah you'll uh, figure it out you've i think you've shown up on some of the ones so far i don't know if they're released yet um i don't think i've used i don't think i've had an opportunity to use one for me yet well they're definitely more subtle so they're not they meant are, to yeah. be like hey it's just like oh you've done like <clears throat> two smiley faces before all right here's a mm -hmm. different version of that you know what uh and i hope you think this is fine me saying um i get uh oh god what is the what am I thinking of? I get uh, Bill Watterson. Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes. I mean, I love Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, just from it, for some reason, I'm like, why do these ones specifically give me Calvin well, and Hobbes? Well, it's very vibes? much like, um, I mean, it's very much in the same style as Calvin and Hobbes. Like, I try to keep the original designs very simple. So, Thank you, you know, Blue. that's why they have, like, the classic, like, Peanuts, Bill Watterson kind of okay. vibe to the designs. Okay. I've I didn't know if be... it was, like, a traditional art thing or yeah. if it was, like... You know, that's kind of, you know, like... Uh, I mean, that's you know. why they're mostly, like... That's why characters have black hair and my character has brown hair. Because, like, even though your hair is technically dark brown, uh, it's just like, ah, oh, I'll just do you and Mike because it's, like, close to black and helps I, for, like... I gotcha. Helps define the characteristics of the three faces. <clears throat> it definitely is better than us having all the same hair color. Exactly. That's another part of it, too. It's just a more contrasty. So, like, since my hair is a lighter brown, it pops a bit more. Um, mm-hmm. Even just in real life, so it's like, it's like, uh... I think you made our skin colors different, too, right? Uh, I think it's all pretty much the same. I, I just, I, I felt like, I'll have to look. There's different blushes and stuff that I use Definitely, that might be yeah. what's uh, changing it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember, like... There's a lot of that. Well, uh, I will say, I think you made us paler on the winter ones. Yes, we are, did, like, the, the cues change for, like, um, the different stuff, like the Halloween mm. one, you have, uh peacher skin and i have paler skin because i'm yeah, alucard because um, yeah the vampire stuff uh mike has very blue <laughs> skin i don't know yeah, why mike's skin is really like, mike is really crazy weird. like 
I like, swear he's like he got sunburned maybe. I think he's in, a druid. The Halloween ones? I don't, I don't fucking really know what's up with him. Like odd. he keeps every holiday keeps changing into something new. You know what it is? I think he I think he's not. I think he's using different lotions. That must be. I, it. That's probably it. His skin's getting a little little burned up when he's that doing the could Halloween be it. one. I think that's what it is. I still got to do his uh, winter one because I forgot about that. Nah, we're not in a rush for that. No, it's generally not. one series anyway, and it's just a short three-player game. And plus, you know I have until December. Yeah. You know what I still get requests for? What? We play Crawl. To this day. I'd be down for doing it again if Mike can fit it into his schedule. I like that game a lot. Um, and we never did beat it. Well, what, what is beat it? I mean, because... We never even successfully beat the monster. Like, we always died. Um, well, I don't think we we're ever... We're challenging each other, though. I know, but I don't think we ever had, like, a victory victory. I mean... Is there I, I, a victory victory? I thought it was just friends versus... Or maybe we didn't see, like... People can tell us, but I wouldn't mind going back to Crawl <clears throat> if people really want to see it. I enjoyed the, playing that. The, uh... It's been a while. Um, yeah, that's one of our higher watch times. It's one of our highest search terms. I love that game, so um, I'd be down for coming back <clears throat> this Halloween and taking care of that. Let me see. Uh, that could be our fun three-player game for Halloween. Discovery. Ba, 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 ba. Honestly, I think we should play Scott Pilgrim for uh, Christmas. Oh, I'd love to. I think that should be our three-player go for it because one it starts on a winter level, so win. Does it? Yeah. Is it winter or is it just Canada? It's. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. It's... <laughs> Close enough. Oh man. Win Canada's always Christmas. That's how it works. Uh, there's no streams with Mike minus the. Um... Couchlings for a cause a fundraiser that we did. For... Mike's son. Mike's the only time he gets off is the weekends. Uh, yeah. He works so much and his hours are so weird. Uh, it's the one time he gets to spend with like his family and stuff. So he did, can't usually come over on Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh, he would love to be on here for these kind of things, um, but here he we go. just can't. It's hard for him to find uh, and make it work. Yeah. YouTube search terms for us for the last 28 days. Uh, 2.1% of our searches that came in for us were Hollow Knight playthrough. Yes. Uh, then 10 more minutes is one word. Then 10 more minutes as individual words. Then Hollow Knight Let's Play. Then Near Automata Let's Play. Then Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And then Crawl Game. It makes me happy that Nier is up at the top. Nier is up here in the top 10 like two, three times. And right after Crawl Game, Near Automata playthrough. It'll Let's be play 12 Nier years from now, and I'm Nier still going to reaction. <laughs> I'm still going to get comments on, I can't believe you couldn't figure out that walking thing. It's like, I'm sorry that it was poorly designed. <laughs> you know what happened? Uh, Love is in a Dangerous Space Time. That uh, game. Tied with Hollow Knight gameplay as our percentage for <laughs> what was searched Jesus. through. <laughs> okay, oh, there's man. one. Okay, I can check this room up here. All uh, those games on those lists, I thoroughly enjoyed. No, they're good. They're good. If Salt yeah. Sanctuary was up at the top, I'd blow a gasket. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta suffer for the crowd. I did that with Fury. That game was hard. Yeah, it was. It was good. I can't believe there's a button you can press that allows you to auto walk. <laughs> God damn it! I was so mad when I read that. I when like, you did it, we thought the game glitched up or something because it was. We, it happened at the uh, the Mercy Angel Lady. So I. Sometimes games, it's okay to just tell your audience and let them know that there's a button that does a thing, like, during the game. Mm -hmm. um, I shouldn't have to dig in the menus to find out that that's a thing sometimes. Um, by the way, you've seen comments about people finding you through YouTube ads. Yes, Fred, yeah. uh, we have a YouTube ad. We've if had it for a if long you're, time. We've had it for since February of last year. You're welcome. Um, the... Uh, so it's our featured video if you're not subbed to us on it's YouTube. It's basically our channel trailer. I, I, hope you're, I hope you're subbed to us. Uh, but it's it's 10 more minutes channel trailer, I think is the title of it. Um, it's also, if you go onto Twitter, our pinned top uh, tweet. Um, so that makes it easy to discover. Um, I love that people were like, hey, YouTube's advertising you. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's... We're paying for it. That's 
That's us, bro. We're doing that. We made it, YouTube too. YouTube didn't make this fucking video. We did. <laughs> I made it. And Chris did the clips. Him. Oh, God, the ghost. Oh, yeah. God, that, the ghost. I'm still really proud of how that turned out. Uh, I still really like how that came together. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's cool, Fred. If you if you get to check it out, check it out, man. Um, it's uh, I think it's pretty spiffy. I think it's a good uh, distillation of our stupidity. Yeah. Uh, we'll update it someday. It has more than half a million views. I think that's the only thing it's that like kind of stops us away. Like, I think, I think the format's still fine, but like, I think the only well, thing yeah, to update change was just clips. change clips. Yeah. yeah, we got better mics um, now and, and stuff. We yeah, and we've sure replaced mic with a better we mic. Pull from um, and that <laughs> channel trailer was made like two years ago at this point now, a year ago. I don't even know anymore. What, what was it now? I'm oh, sorry. I, I don't even remember how long ago it was when what? we made that trailer. Oh, February of, of last year. Was it only then? Yeah, I think it was uh, Valentine's Day weekend. I think it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, the uh, That year was fucking yeah, Sam, Sam knows about the Fury attack that does the big damage. The he, charge attack. Yes, I figured that out on one of the final bosses. One of the fun yeah. thing, funny the, things. The Ormond, dude. Yeah, I appreciate when people give me tips, but I always find it funny when people get frustrated. It's like, how did you not know this? Like, especially in that game. It's like, come on. Like, what? There's also commenters that said, like, I didn't know. Some, the game doesn't yeah. tell you some of these things. The game like, doesn't tell you a lot of things. Yeah. And, uh... You only well, do it through trial and, and, you know, tribulations, so... Mother of... Yeah, if I were Flubbers. you, these, since this place seems to have a lot of these damn mimics, uh, if I were you, I would try and avoid going anywhere near chest until the room is cleared, if possible. Just because they're so strong, you know? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't, don't do the fire. Oh, okay, that's cool. You can get it, though. Nice. And this falls a little bit. Can it track? Can it? Not close enough. Well, oh, I've got oh. a lot of potions, so I you, actually picked you've up a got, bunch. You've got money, too. I would say just go full in ham on yeah, him. Just... Yeah, just... Because otherwise, it's... There you go. At least you triggered his change. Um, Because that... It's just, he's just going to keep going. Yeah, and he drops a ton of potions, God, that's too. fine. And I have, like, ten in my pocket. We'll so it. it's yeah, just like... Just no, do it, then. We're fine. The main oh, no. reason to go to town is just to get unload stuff. Get to the um, mimic. I have to be very careful because that is the final boss, so I is am it? not going in there. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yep. Is that a spark light? <laughs> Fury tells you fucking nothing. <laughs> it, I really enjoyed that game, but yeah, near the beginning, some of those bosses, I still don't like the shield boss, honestly. Um, I like the majority of the other ones, though. Right on, Fred. Uh, Fred says, uh, extremely amazed by all the Patreon animations Sam has done. It's a ton of effort to make. Yeah, that's his uh, speed paints. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not his. Those are the Couchlings. I mean, those are the Couchlings, yeah. That but, he did. Um, <laughs> anything that's art on the channel minus, like, game art is all all me, baby. Um, um, the uh, On the last Luigi's Mansion 3 VOD, also, it's really neat to see how your Twitch channel has grown since then. Yeah, right? Yeah. Lily? Uh, Lily? I said Villy. Uh, Philly. Lily. Millie Vanilli. <laughs> uh, we're coming up on a, a year. year? On Twitch yeah. Now. Luigi's Mansion was the first one that mm -hmm. we went with. That was October, um, right? Yeah, we started October 31st with Twitch, I believe. Uh, Fuck, we, was it? It was like right around then. It was right around Halloween because we're like, oh, we have Luigi's Mansion. It's released right around that time. That'd be a perfect game to start our Twitch on. Because um, we had everything set to Halloween, remember? Like, I made. I even have Twitch intros just for, like, the holidays, like, yeah, yeah. our ones that we have uh, yeah. set up for that. I would like to eventually do a Nintendo one at some point. It was um, October 31st, Lily says. Right on. Yeah, my memory served me. Uh, I think that's the only other, other than Hollow Knight, I think Nintendo would be one I'd do a special intro for, just because I have the avatars. Mm -hmm. um, and I would just, I don't know, I'd make a Wario or something, the Couchling. It, the main idea behind the intro was to make it something that's easily adjustable on my end um, without yeah. putting a lot of front load like oh he now has a like an asset swap to yeah do. it's like kind of asset it's a little more work than that but like hey I can just throw a cap on this character yeah. and bam he's now part of this universe and I don't want to do it for everything no 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 of course not we're no Gerard and even then Gerard only does it for his thumbnails yeah no it, it's one of those things like if this was a full time gig sure it'd be more i still wouldn't probably do with what gerard does just yeah. because there's well gerard's got like a dozen people on his team yeah <laughs> it's also but... one of those things that you're right all he does is just a really cool splash art and they look really nice don't get me wrong but since we do the intro and the avatars and all this other stuff and like it's not just one thing being changed it's 
like eight different things being changed. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, if we had a team, yeah, and I had like an assistant, that would be different. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but like, here, I'm going to do this, you color it. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, I would probably just have them do like, I don't even know what I would do. Having assistants hard. You need someone that like knows your style and is close enough to it. Um, to have them do that stuff. Okay. Like it, it's super weird. I don't know <clears> how <throat> I would do that. Um, the uh, they're saying were you couchling? Uh, you couchling? They, they mean the uh, so the intro the, couchling. Uh, the slash here. Yeah. That one on so the intro guy. when it comes in. Notice how he's a Hollow Knight character for one of them. He yeah. has a skull mask for the Halloween, Halloween one. Yeah. He has a. He's kind of like a. Fun. God damn it. He's kind of like a uh, like he's a wraith or something for yeah yeah he's like a wraith for Halloween. So like, that would be probably Waluigi or something. I don't know what it would be. Yeah. I would make it to something like Mike is Bowser. What if you, what if you just made it a boo? I, that might be like it that too. might be easy. You I know? could literally you have just, a boo. You I have, have the boo assets boo, and yeah. stuff. So um, I think boo keeps the white, you know, yeah. kind of theme. And I might make him a Koopa. And if it's Halloween. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be the, not the Halloween one. That would be the Nintendo one, so. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't no, know. No it, it'd be easy. There's so much to choose from Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I'd probably make him Link, honestly. I'd probably just give him, like, the That'd swirly. That'd be tight. <laughs> I'd probably just give him the swirly hat, or I'd make him Samus. Yeah. Um, Make them Samus. I don't know. Like, that's the one that I would like to do at some point, but mm -hmm. I'm uh, currently busy with other things mm -hmm. that, um, yeah. Yep, yep. That's nope. it. Yes, I am as well. Yeah. <clears throat> busy with other things. Yes. 100% <laughs> busy. Uh, uh, Pat says, I was thinking today that there's not really going to be a Thanksgiving dinner this year for us. Your brother and Mario's health is bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, Pat, you're, you're with Mario. Yeah. You can, you can still do something small, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know what my family's going to end up doing either because we're all... <clears throat> social distancing yeah um, i'm not getting together with my family fuck them well yeah my family's at least observing the rules that you're supposed to yeah. so i'll probably do something socially distant with my mom and my brother mm -hmm. um but yeah if they weren't obeying the rules i'd be like mm, i love you but no yeah uh the but, 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 was gonna say um yeah for halloween uh, we usually get like one or two trick-or-treaters so this year uh i think we decided right we're gonna be. Just, we're gonna get a, a t-shirt gun and we're just gonna shoot it in the air and see who catches it. Yep. And if it just lays in the street, we're, we're gonna shoot any children who show up. Yeah. <laughs> just shoot them in the face. <laughs> t-shirt for you, child. No, we'll just we'll shoot masks at them. Yes. And they'll be Halloween masks. <laughs> Luch, yeah, paint with luchadors <laughs> on them. Just oh, <laughs> like flies back five feet into the Obey into the, the street. Of the land. <laughs> Don't come near my house, child. Boom. <laughs> okay, this is safe. <laughs> It'll have candy in it because we're yeah. not heartless bastards. No, we'll wrap we'll like <laughs> we'll wrap up the mask so they have candy in it. Um, but yeah, I think we're actually gonna play a, a D and D one off. Uh, yeah. Not on stream or no. anything, guys. Just for in clarification, I think we're gonna we're gonna do something at least thematic to where we get to still get to hang out with friends and stuff, but it'll yeah. still be uh, distanced. Our buddy Willow likes to do one shots. Who is part of our D and D <clears throat> campaign? And they did one last year, and it was a lot of fun. And gives you a break from having to uh, be a DM for uh, just a little bit. It would be nice, right? Uh, Fred says, would love it if you play Zelda Hyrule Warriors when it comes out. Would probably, I would like to play that. Would probably um, make a good continuation of Chris's Breath of the Wild streams. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think when Breath of the Wild comes out, I'm just going to let you play it on stream again, and I'm just going to play it by myself so I don't have to hear, hear a Revali stuff. Well, I like to yeah. do a lot of completion. Yeah, I think it would be good so, for that, honestly. Yeah, and then you can take it at your own pace, too. It, that's another thing, too. I think I just want to enjoy that one on my own. Yeah. Um, no, it's good. Uh, I want to send something to the house. Holiday season, usually just Lily and you. Hell. Uh, even the annual Winter King Renaissance Fair was canceled, but due to financial difficulties. Really? Oh, that sucks. That's a bummer. Ren fairs are awesome. Yeah, I've been to a couple. I enjoy them. They're fun to draw. Yeah. There's always, like, cool people in costumes, and it's everyone the last... around there is always really nice, too. The last, like, two years that we were able to go, it's been, like, 98, 99 yeah. degrees, and you go in, like, an outfit or at least something where it's kind of, <laughs> kind of more uh, layered. Yes. So it's like, oh, man, it is fucking boiling here. Um... It's, it was it was bad. I got so fucking dehydrated. Oh yeah, that trip was that was rough. Um, 
Not, not an easy endeavor, that I'll say that for sure. Don't want to change these ones. Oh, I changed yeah, these. Yeah, Pat. Pat says, uh, but really, if I had kids, I would be scared to take them around to houses of people you have no idea about their health. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's... <clears throat> Kids are the worst petri dishes already, like like you're saying. As the teacher, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Those little nasty bastards. I love them. Um, the uh, you know what's funny on a, a little quick side tangent, I haven't gotten sick since Sam and Jen stopped teaching kids directly. I, like I said, I'm not denying. <laughs> they bring all the little germs home. Yeah, we do that. Uh, I blame Jen a little bit more than me. But she teaches four-year-olds. So. Yeah, she teaches yeah, four-year-olds. No, I, so I do too. I do too. I am definitely a culprit, though. I, I <laughs> had my fair share of kids come in sick and be like, "What are you doing?" I've almost not gotten sick at all uh, since the social distancing oh, yeah, started. Just, we're literally and, not interacting with anybody. And generally, it was like I get sick every like six months, maybe. Maybe, I'd say maybe so. once yeah, or twice. That was, you know, I, I catch get... like a light, like cold or something. Um, but yeah, nothing. The pinnacle of health. Flex, 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 flex. flex. Muscle, muscles. <laughs> muscles, muscles. All right. Uh, well, I think if I open the door, that nerd's gonna go away. Yeah, that's cool. Hell, hell says, uh, we're actors at Ren Fair, so it's very detrimental and sad. While we don't travel like some fair folk, uh, we still participate in the culture. That's awesome. I've met some really cool, really supportive, really fucking caring uh, fair folk um, that uh, they helped take care of us uh, during the last heat. Uh, they came over, brought us water. They were like, hey, you look you look parched. Like, you okay? And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just really, just really tired and in this heat. They're like, come, come sit in our booth. Like, and it was one of those period piece ones where, you know, you stay in character the whole time. I don't need to explain it to you. Uh, but they were like, no, 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 come back, come back. We have, like, uh, we have we have ice. We have cool things. Like, you look flushed. Um, let's take care of you. Door. It's like, that's super kind. Thank you so much. Um, but, uh, and then there's ones where they do it more in character, where they had uh, the local one. They, uh, they have a big fish where it's like a stuffed animal fish. Uh, and they soak it in a big barrel of ice water. And they give them the fish. And they put the fish over your head, put it on your neck, and then squeeze it so it runs ice water down your back and your shirt, and it's cold, and it's it's in the <clears throat> adult-only area where you're able to go to the bar and drink and hang out and stuff. Uh, but it's a speaking it's a, of fish, this it's thing a big is now hot. Yeah, it's a big awesome time. Uh, Sam's talking about his uh, ice pack, ice shoulder pack. Um, it, it helps, but now it feels awesome. That? I thought about taking a shower this morning. I'm like, no, we're going to be recording. The air conditioning's not on. I'm going to be sweaty after this. I'll still save my shower for later. Once I got up, and I was like, it won't be that bad today. It hasn't been that bad yesterday. And, and then I got to 92, yeah. and I'm like, I, I should have turned this on. Yeah, Cause it, it happens. Yeah. I was like, god damn it. Uh, does it smell, the fish? No. No, 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 no. No, the no. fish doesn't smell. It's not an actual fish. No. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a stuffed animal fish. Is the fish in a bag? No, it's a, it's a stuffed animal fish. It's not a Pat, real fish. Did I, did I not say that? No, you did not. I knew what you were talking about, <laughs> oh, but, um, I don't believe that they did. It's a stuffed animal fish. Not a, not a real fucking fish. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't say it. Fish. All right, um, we should be good. I think it's I fucking, to, it's super chill. And then we have a, it. we have a pirate festival. Uh, yeah, in over the, in, in the area, yeah. In the, uh, it's a pretty well known pirate festival. That's that why could, I just said it where it was. I was like, eh. yeah, no, no, no. It's, you look it up in the Bay Area. It's like there's only one yeah, place. Yeah, it's in Vallejo. Um, that's that's no big to say. Um, and it happens every Father's Day weekend. They canceled it this year, but uh, we had a friend um, who was pretty good pretty deep in with uh, some of the pirate folk there um and we got to hang out with you know the captain's quarters and stuff quick like that. question for my uh moonlighter fan people uh if i go to sleep will that door still be there like can i sell some stuff and then go into the door or do i, I have to use the door now and otherwise it's gone i believe it stays until you go to it or another dungeon Yes does not help me, Blue. Which one? <laughs> yes could be either or. I don't know which. Will it stay if I go to sleep? Door remains until you use it or a dungeon. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. There you go. Yeah. All right, because I want to try and sell some stuff so I can upgrade my yeah. headband and then just go to town on that uh, bad boy. Was talk like a pirate day yesterday? Hergen <laughs> Durgit for... Oh, wait, that's Nick <laughs> Erickson day. Pirates. Never mind. 
<laughs> oh man. Someone will get that. <laughs> Fucking SpongeBob. Every day. <laughs> uh, I can sell that. I can sell that. Sell some of this. Sell some of that. Sell some of these. Keep I'm still happy that. about my uh, my playthrough of Wonder Song. Where I got to do the pirate captain. I love doing pirates. They're so much fun. Uh, I just made a Mr. Krabs, but yeah, pirate. Right. <laughs> Where's me money, SpongeBob? It's pretty much what I did. <laughs> I always regret when I do a pirate voice because it's really fun until that character uh -huh. sticks around for six hours and you're like, God damn it. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a little chapter thing where they just go away after, like, because they, they're on the pirate ship that you travel to the next spot uh -huh. with. And then they stuck around as you travel through islands and stuff. I'm like, Arr, me fucking voice. Yeah. I loved uh, the character we had in, <laughs> what was it? Owl Boy? I enjoyed that character. Oh, that one Man. was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that was tiring after a while. Um, see what how much desert steel ingots are worth. Yeah, got it. Desert steel ingots are, ooh, they're going to be good. Uh, 8,250. 8, desert 000. steel ingot. One of the higher priced ones inside of the desert items. So 8K. I still love the fact that I did not clarify that the fucking fish was stuffed. Like a stuffed animal. And not eh. a real fish. So people thought they were taking a big fish and putting it over their shoulders. That'd be great. Oh, it's fucking nasty. That'd be <laughs> I can't hilarious. believe I didn't clarify that. That'd be a that. very much Ren Fair thing oh, if you think about no. it. Oh, no. It'd be very like, this is a classic Ren Fair thing. Like, they used to do this in olden times. They put nasty fish on your shoulders? Yes. <laughs> All right, well. That's when tight, Lily. Lily says I won a contest at a fair one That's year awesome. and became the official pirate queen. That does not surprise me with how well your costumes turn out. That's really um, fucking awesome. The two awesome. of you tend to do go over the top. Uh, weren't you supposed to show me your Alucard one? You talked about it last time, but I don't think I ever saw it. Uh, they posted it up uh, a while ago. I don't at, know if, if, I don't you, know if can... you got tagged. It was pretty late at night if i remember correctly at me so i can check it out because i'd love to see more of your costume if you don't mind lily um because if, if, like, cool. if i don't get added for something i will never see it um, i think it was in general chat chat so yeah. I, I think if i remember correctly it was in general chat and i think it got flooded pretty quickly i have so many notifications i like turn most things off so i'll, I'll check like my ads for discord you know what i've noticed sometimes on discord what? i don't get notifications when i get pm'd Huh. Now, um, I have it's, mine. it's only when it's on the computer, it won't notify me on my phone. So mm -hmm. I'll have it open as a window in the background, but it won't give me an audio alert. Interesting. So I'll be sitting there and you'll be I like, always hey get man, the music's a little loud. And I'll see it like two hours later and be like, oh shit. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> like, a big portion of why that is just like, I ordered some new glasses that have like blue blocker for them because my eyes are just getting so drained being well, in front you're, of you're on the computer all day. Yeah. Between like, um, teaching my classes and tutoring and then doing this kind of stuff yeah my eyes are like Ugh. so my dad said it's helped him a bit my mom said it's helped her so i'm like all right zenny give me some uh kick-ass new glasses so in uh two more weeks i will have a pair i mean i got some you can use i've got some um my prescription is very specific <clears throat> oh that's right you yeah. have a prescription yeah Luckily, I mean, Zenny's great because it gives you really cheap glasses, mm -hmm. um, and they're good quality, too. Zenny, uh, sponsor us already. Yeah, seriously, Zenny, if you want to sponsor me, I'm hella down for it. M Miss Jennifer needs some new glasses, buds. Yeah. <laughs> if you know your prescription and you want to get good glasses, her, go to Zenny. C-E-N-N-I. <laughs> There's, uh, on your first order, you can get 20% <laughs> off. Get fucking free advertising. Yeah, because I've gotten, like, three pairs of glasses from them, and they've all been great. Um, I'll fucking, show the uh, hell out of them. You get some notifications, check the notification settings. It's it's weird. It's sometimes, so uh, we'll get back on Zenny in a second. Uh, sometimes if I have the window open, I just won't get an audio tone. Uh, and sometimes I do. I'm just like, wait, what is the... And I checked my, you know, sound settings and everything. Everything's fine. Just sometimes I just don't get them. So I'm like, man, text me if, if I don't get you to get a response or something. Like, yeah. I know texting isn't your thing but it's like well the problem is i just don't get good reception so it's just kind of like my my text messages just don't go through sometimes um <laughs> goddamn blue with the fake ass macro command exclamation mark tmm shill and then the zenny optical link <laughs> yeah but anyone can feel free to sparingly <laughs> at me for something they want me to see um i'm just always said on do not disturb because i need to i'm always in like focus because he because he loves dnd do not disturb. Do not oh yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's close enough. Um, the uh, 
I get so many notifications now thanks to because nah, I'm teaching. I, like I feel, yeah. my Google been... Classroom is always blowing up, and sometimes the student just going, "Hi," I'm like, <laughs> "Give the any actual information, kiddo." Like, Some, sometimes I get that too. Um, Lily, I got back to you today, but it took forever. Apologies. I was very like, I'm offline for a while today. Like, I'm just not gonna go on the computer. Some days anything. you need a detox. Yeah. So I was like, I'll, I'll wait until it's stream time, and then I'll hop on and I'll get to everybody. But same thing. Yeah. I will always get back to people, but do not be surprised if it's like, oh, he got back to you the next day. It's like, that's just sometimes I'm like, I need a social break. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, sometimes I'll get PMs or comments or something. Uh, uh, there's a select few people who will just randomly get back to me and just be like, hi, like you said. Yeah. And it's like, hey, bud, what's, what's up? What up? Cool. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Um, boss run. Let's go. So, uh, you like Hollow Knight. What else do you like? Well, that's, that's kind of a big question. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of on the spot here. I don't know. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Um, Mario. <laughs> yeah. What was, what was, uh, what was young Neil's response to that? What kind of games do you play? He's like, it's kind of a big question. I don't know, but I, I, I still feel, um, oh, this thing respawned? Oh, it respawned everything? Well, the demon Shit. dude's gone. Yeah. I well, should have done it. You could just peg the crap out of him and get him ended before he starts going uh, oh, shower he'll spray. Oh, please give me some. Well, he's in a spot to coin spray not on you, so that's perfect. Well, at least I have some backup potions, so well, I that can was use it for this room. as hell. But that yeah, but out. I lose all my armor shit, but whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, you still got a little bit. Or are you talking about the blue ones that the, yeah, I had, yeah. like, the shields? Yeah. And then I had, like, I gotcha. my extra defense, but eh, yeah. whatever. The room should be right here. <clears throat> that's weird that that responds. I think it just refreshes every time. Well, it it re-rogues it, you know? Yeah, it must be. Maybe minus the map changing, though. Like, I don't... Yeah. the map doesn't seem like it changed. Well, we're huh. uh, gonna try it. But yeah, I ordered some... Damn it. I ordered some new glasses. Hopefully that'll help That's with right, like, being the screen all the time. Uh, Jen's gotta get a new prescription. I yeah. wish, I fucking wish that U.S. healthcare didn't think that eyes and teeth weren't part of your goddamn body and so, needed to be part of a different health. Depending on, like, you can get teeth through it, but it's a pain in the ass. It's just easier just to get your own insurance just for teeth. Um, it's just it's frustrating because Jen needs a new are you with, What in the fuck is this? Are you with Kaiser or are you with uh, John Deere? Kaiser. Kaiser. So you can just go to Kaiser and get your eyes checked and they will give you your prescription. Um, yeah, but isn't it like a, like 150 bucks or something like that? Not when I win. Whenever I go, I don't have to pay anything. That might be health insurance wise. I mean, that you're might on... be something specifically health insurance. We're on like Covered California. Yeah, or you should be able to just go and get your eyes checked. I mean, there might be a small deductible, but okay. then they... well, yeah, yeah, deductibles. Yeah, generally it's like yeah. 20, 20 bucks. So yeah, that's they'll... not terrible for something that's. You can just literally they'll give you your prescription Ooh, on paper, shit. and you can plug that into Zenny, and then you're fucking solid. Really? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was because I don't have to do it myself nope. personally. That's just how I understood it. I yeah. guess I was wrong. Last couple of years, I've just gone to. Uh, I told... I'll just go to Kaiser, and they're like, "Hey." Ooh, I'll Shit. My eyes. Nice um, dodging that you're kind of just lucking out on. <laughs> just walking through some of them. Uh, that's that's awesome. Okay, I told Jen, I was like, hey, sweetheart, you should call. I mean, because your glasses are old. My prescription hasn't really changed much in the last, like, five years. Uh, so I was like, I'll just order another pair. And it literally cost me 60 bucks to buy a new pair of glasses yeah. from Zenny. Probably gonna um, want to heal after this. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So Topped it's you almost up. Compared oh, yeah. to like buying them directly from Kaiser. Oh, would you like to spend four hundred dollars on oh, no, a pair I, of glasses? I made that fucking mistake once. Yeah. But luckily they were for safety glasses, and uh, my company covered it. Um, yeah. But uh, God, yeah. How does anyone afford to live in this goddamn fucking hellhole? Country? I used to go to Walmart to get mine too, and they were cheap as well. Good shit, um, man. Good shit. Thanks. I like that spill out animation. That I do they too. Did. It was that really was cool. nice. Oh. That one's kind of Take kind that of weird. key. Third key? But yeah, if you want to get glasses, uh, just get your prescription from your doctor if you're able to, and then order them either from a Walmart or use Zenny. Yeah. It takes a lot longer. Yeah. So that's the big deal. Like, if you were to order from Kaiser or your doctor, they probably have like a week turnaround. And you're going to be waiting like three weeks on Zenny, but it's the same quality. I think I got mine from like site for sore eyes or something like that yeah you just um, have to be very and that took careful. like a week week and a half 
Um, <laughs> I wish a wish upon the fish. Uh, space cats. Uh, I could, like, these? These are scratched up pretty Yeah, no, pretty you want to get new ones. I've had, these glasses are probably four years old. Oh, please tell me that didn't glitch up. Oh, shit, you actually see, like, right here, the glass yeah. is starting to, like, get little nicks and lines through it and stuff. Yeah, I should probably replace these at some I point I don't know why it glitches whenever we have the key thing. It shows, like, that pixel block. But, yeah, I would go to the... Just go to Kaiser if they'll okay. let you. Like, I know they're trying to, like, turn most people away because, like, hey, if you don't really need to come, don't. But it I'll would be, like... i cover my mouth. All they need to do is look at my eyes. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Sign on. I, I Princess Warrior. Hmm. Another guardian defeated. Another lock upon the fifth door open. You just reuse the... Refuse to... That, that's... Ref, refuse, not reuse. Mm -hmm. uh, refuse to listen to reason. What if you don't come back next time? Then I won't have anyone to make... Tacos with. <laughs> I'll tell everyone. I was going to say, like, baklava. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'll ba tell everyone. Is it baklava or balak balaklava? I can't I remember. I fucking mix them up. Yeah, I was like, I don't ba know. Baklava is the food. Balaklava yeah. is the facial, like, uh, mask thingy. Yeah. I warned him. Told him it was foolish. R right? Right. So? <laughs> tell us in chat if we're wrong. Just, just appreciate what you have, Will. You have a great shop worth being around for. I noticed a new expansion on the board. With a shop that large, you can employ an assistant to help around the place. The town is also very... is also allowing entry into the tech dungeon now. Nice. I'd warn you not to enter, but why start this thing now? <laughs> I'll be on my way. No more need for an old man's rumbling, I suppose. Yeah, get out of here, old man. I love you. <laughs> I love you, old man. Thank you for the advice. The, uh... I, no, I feel you, Lily. Um, last time when Jen uh, chipped her tooth or broke the... Uh, yeah, like, I chipped my tooth a year ago. That like, was not fun. I still have my chipped tooth on the front. It's not bad at all. Like, <laughs> Honestly, it's a blessing. It was so not bad. Um, yeah. But uh, last time we took Jen in because she actually like shattered her... Like a piece of her tooth was missing. Is this the same um, price for all these, the Desert Histories? I probably, I'll have to look. Yeah. Um, we went in, they were like, oh yeah, no, here's the nine different procedures we can do for her for like $1,900. It's like, no! <laughs> oh yeah, that one time I laughed. I felt bad a little bit, but Jen hadn't gone to the dentist in forever. Yeah. And she had what, like 19 cavities? She, like, I think she oh. had like six cavities, but needed like... 12 different procedures over the course of four different visits or something yeah, like it, it was, was something, something fucking... insane it was just like oh yeah it's like yeah speaking of which i haven't been to the dentist in a year because i lost dental um, i haven't been to the dentist in like four years yeah i i, need I used to... to go like every six months i've been putting it off because of covid but my mom has sold me my local dentist that i used to go to like she's a they're really really careful about shit so i'm like all right I'll, yeah because just... they're working directly in your fucking dirty mouth face yeah. hole my uh dentist was literally telling me like she said i'm more worried about getting tuberculosis than I am from getting the, what? Yeah. What desert history was it? They're all sixteen. They're uh, all sixteen hundred. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Five hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah, they said they were way more worried about nausea jottings. Nausea jottings? Nausea jottings. I don't know where all. Uh, they said they were way is. more worried about um, getting tuberculosis and hepatitis. Uh, hepatitis makes sense. Yeah. What the fuck is nausea jottings? I found that interesting. Back, I don't and know. I, Trust that person who's been doing a lurk in a long time. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. Uh, can you? I'm does anyone in the chat know what that is? Nausea jottings? Yeah. And I mean, then that'd we be also, a cool fucking D and D NPC name. We also need to know what high <laughs> levitation cores are worth too. I can look that up. Let me see. Uh, high, like H I G H. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sixteen thousand five hundred. Just like the desert history. Okay. And Camel Heights, would you rather eat a sandwich with teeth for the filling or have a sandwich with teeth eat you? You won't die from it. Neither. A sandwich with teeth eat me? How do I not die by being eaten? Can I break out? <laughs> is it like a grand escape? How is much it, is that volcanic Is stone? it a sexy sandwich? <laughs> like, we saw the sexy pizza earlier, right, Pat? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Camel Lights. Welcome, dude. Welcome to the couch. It's a sandwich that doesn't have organs? I mean, I guess I... I guess I could just slip through the backside? Like, sure. 
I'd rather be eaten then, I guess. I don't want to eat teeth. Teeth are, they have a high tensile strength. Mm, I'll break my I don't teeth think, by eating them. I don't think passing those is gonna feel good. No, it's not. Not that I think eating, getting eaten is gonna feel good, but I mean, that's really just like deli meat slapping up against your body and then you pass out the other side. Like, that doesn't well, sound, I, I, that doesn't sound as bad face. as eating teeth. No thanks, gross. <laughs> gross, 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 gross. No, it turns out it's a French dip and it's dipping into <laughs> 300 degree fucking Okay, how much are thermomagnetic engines worth? Uh, 10,120. I still and I still don't see the nausea. Uh, in no, 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 I do. J nausea, not a jottings. Yeah. Uh, 16,500. I thought so. How much are um, volcanic stones worth? Mm, 110. That's, That's the it. cheapest thing. Yeah. All right. Let's open up this and put it up for sale. Oh, yeah. Sandwich. Gross. Sandwich with teeth eating me? I mean, uh. <clears throat> technically, a sandwich doesn't have uh, the muscle strength How big to, is fucking, this sandwich? to fucking eat me, goddammit. So uh, those teeth I'm not too worried about. I don't care how big the sandwich is. <laughs> There's nothing like sexy pizza, says Pat. <laughs> so what we're referring to is there was a gif file of uh the, is the pizza the, shaped like a it's like a what uh, you prefer like a pizza woman but yeah. it's still a pizza slice but she has like pepperoni boobies uh, or, or something to that effect and she's like oh it's like i'm guessing why is that pizza sexy <laughs> like what is what is this anthropomorph well that's not anthropomorphic pizza promorphic pizza thing what it, who is who is doing this? I will never deny pizza. You offered me Little Caesars the other day. I'm like, I shouldn't, but I will. No, that's pretty much what I said. I was like, I'd eat her. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> then you offered me cake, too. It's like, yeah, I can't say that. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing like sexy pizza. There's nothing like <laughs> sexy pizza. You found it. It's baba. It's soaked in rub. What is, what is baba soaked in rum? That sounds good. That sounds pretty good. I tried at least once. You know what? I uh, I like rum, but I don't like rum cake. I don't, I don't only, know why. I think I've only had rum cake once. Or or even like rum balls. Rum is definitely the drink I will have. Like if I'm doing a toast and someone's like offering me something. Sweet and spicy. Yeah, I yeah. like rum. Um, not enough to like drink a ton of it, but it's like, oh, if we're doing a toast. Mike rum. Can, Mike can drink fucking Sailor Jerry warm. Ugh. I like. It wait, cold. wait, is that motherfucker stealing something? What is that LT? Roll into his ass. Get out of here. What the fuck are you doing? Did, did you save it? I think so. Did it go back to your inventory? Yep. Okay. Dick. Caught that. <laughs> oh, Baba is you. Yeah. It's an Italian dessert. Okay, Baba. I did buy that for my brother, actually. I bought Baba as your first birthday. Did you? Yeah. His birthday was, uh, what was it? Two weeks ago? Is it still anthropomorphic hell? Okay. I thought it meant uh, of an animal, like with human proportions specifically. Yeah, anthropomorphic just means giving human qualities to something. I thought it was not, giving uh, animal qualities to something. Okay, I mistake. I was mistaken though. Then it, I must it, be thinking of a different term. Oh, they're getting in! No! Whoa, 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 whoa! You get there, you get a, you get a lot of stuff coming to sale. She just took my junk. Someone stole it? No, I just I took too long. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was the old lady, but it wasn't worth that much. Um, no, I don't want to do your shit. Get same, out of here. Same here, Fred. Exactly. Same here. Um, so she stole it. Yeah, she stole it because you didn't sell it to her. Damn it. Yeah. That's my fault, I guess. You're right, Hell. I, I was mistaken. I was thinking of a different uh, Hell and Sente. Sente. I was uh, referring to it. I was thinking of a different terminology. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was mistaken about uh, what I was thinking it was. Anthropology, absolutely. Yes. Hey. Yeah, I'm sipping on, sipping on uh, Kirkland Signature right now. Some of the cheapest out there. I mean, mine is like Popov, plastic bottle, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you have around you. I'm just glad the ants aren't invading. They keep coming in my bathroom again. They're in I my bathroom rid... too. Like I'll find one <sighs> and then I'll like, them. I'm going to wash my hands. And then I'll go to like comb my hair and there'll be another one. It's like, where are you fuckers coming from? It's the worst. It's not even like a conga line so you can just delete them. 
Um, it's always just like one or two sporadically all over the place. I think they're hiding behind my mirror, but I can't remove that mirror. Oh god, no, that's that's attached to the wall. Plus, mirrors are heavy as fuck. Oh no, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to, but it's like, they're clearly like, a couple of them are just hiding behind there. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that's the source point. But you can't remove it. There's no way to like. You know what? I, I don't think they're on. coming from behind the mirror. I think they're trailing along the corners. Maybe. Because ants typically like go by like running boards. I have one that's corners. like darting back and forth underneath the mirror. I'm like, you asshole. Well, they run by pheromones. Uh, yeah. Not to say much like rats, but rats tend to hold. Uh, rats and mice tend to hold against wall I read corn, the grossest walls and thing stuff. the other day. Uh, I'm glad you spent, mentioned that. Um, you read. So, oh, I know what you're saying. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think you do. No, uh, I didn't know this about uh, rodents. And uh, oh no, maybe I don't then. May maybe, maybe you don't. I was looking at it really as like, oh, isn't this cute? About like just some gerbils, and then I started reading the comment section, which that was clearly the mistake of all of this. Oh, I do know what you're referring to. I didn't specifically know gerbils. Specifically gerbils and rats. They fucking eat their babies. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, I thought you were talking about the the sticking the gerbil up the ass thing. No. Oh, yeah, no, they eat their babies. A lot of animals do. I just, I, ugh. A lot of animals do. I know Cats some. do it too. Oh, God. I mean, not typically, but I mean, like, that is straight up like, oh, yeah, no, uh, you're the runt. Fuck you. A lot of animals like do that. Like, just gorging on their children. <clears throat> just like, ugh. Oh, yeah, they'll eat them. if They'll call the weak, man. Yeah, but this wasn't like call the weak conversation. It was like, oh, yeah, ate its whole entire thing because it just didn't want to be a mom. It's just like, what the fuck? Yep, yep. No, if they... If it's not ideal for them or they're stressed, yeah, bunnies too. They will fucking yeah. tear apart. Yeah, I read about that. It's yeah. just like, oh, we found our bunny. It was a bloody mess. Just yeah. like, oh my god. Uh, so, uh, when my, I might be misremembering this, but I think this is how it went down. Jeepers. When my rat sunflower died as a child, uh, my parents took me. Uh, I was crying my eyes out. Uh, my parents took me to go get a different pet because I was uh -huh. like, I need a friend. Like, so I got two mice um, and the place I got it from were like, yeah, no, they're fine. They're inside. They've been inside of their, uh, you know, they've been, they grew up together. They're fine. You know, two females, totally cool and everything. Um, we got them, got them all set up. Uh, and then my mom uh, was like, oh, okay, let's get gas, you know, real quick to go back home and everything. Got gas. I went inside and paid, came back, and I was like, let me see my cute little mices. Opened up the box and they fucking killed each other while I was gone for like three minutes. Jeepers. I was like, what in the fuck? So on top of having a dead rat that I had for a couple of years, these will make me feel better. Come back and they had fucking killed each other. I was like, fuck my child life. Fuck this life. I can now understand like why people only have like one rat. Um, and they're just like, that's it. They uh, were they were bloodied and like beat the shit out of each other and just like just laying there like fucking dying. <sighs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding? And we brought them back to the pet store and they're like, oh yeah, no, I guess these are two males. What the fuck? Are you, are you kidding? That's what some of the comment section was like too. And it's like, you know, I'm glad I only owned dogs when I was growing up. <laughs> I died for a second. No mice and rats often fight over territory. Yeah. Oh, this was on the way home from the pet store. Like, we went from A to B minus the, uh, Trump minus trying to get check. gas. And that was it. Audio is strange for everybody. That's, that's weird. I'm sorry, guys. Is it okay now? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes, no. no. Maybe so. Um, he does not even have a shop. He's, He's just there to take money from your pocket. <laughs> He's probably like a town crier style... Probably. No, that's the banker, huh? That's the banker. Hmm. I figured he'd have a bank. There are wild pockets. hamsters in France that eat their babies because they eat too much corn? What the fuck? Yeah, I, just, I was reading some of that, and I was just a little mortified. Like, this is not what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought you were going to say that... Um, uh, and I don't know if this is true. This is just what I heard. That they would flavor uh, bourbon...
Oh, you don't have to do that, man. Oh, yeah. You want the couch coins. I see, Striker. Oh, I see. Have a good night, man. Thank have you for night, being man. here. See you later. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff, but where does it go? Oh. It died again? Oh, Weird. great. Hold on. Oh, is it on Chris's or is it mine, too? Just Chris's mic or my mic? I'm going to, guys, I'm going to unplug my mic. So get ready for the audio pop. We won't hear it. They will. Three, two, one. Bloop says it's both of us. Oh, you know what? We're dropping. We dropped frames. Oh, Wiggy. Uh, audio should be okay, guys. Now, we dropped 07 percent of our frames. Chris, they, Pat says it's only you. It was both of us for a minute. That was probably just a frame drop then. Huh. Thank you for the follow, TK is scared. Thank you, TK. I got a big house and look Whoa. at that corgi. No! no! Corgis! That has me fucking worried then. Because remember the last time we had to deal with that when we were doing Legend of Zelda? Yes. Uh, the remake, the GBA remake, the uh, the whale, the dream whale, whale fish, whale, dream whale, the island whale. The fuck is that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember when we, like, we played Link's Awakening? It was, it was the cable that was fucking up. Oh, but if yeah. it went for both of us, then maybe that means a cable down the line and not an actual Link's Awakening. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh fuck, my God. that's I got me scared. About that. That's got me scared. Uh, we'll 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 check we'll check after every two videos or something then. Something like yeah. that. When we do it. Perfect. Just when we have to record again. I mean, you, we've had time off. <laughs> we have. I mean... Not time off, not doing anything. Yeah. I'm just saying, time away. Dude, we've had time away from doing recording, yes. But not time off. Um, what, Sente? So that the wild hamsters and where they live eat mainly corn. They don't get enough nutrients and get something dementia? Is that kind of like a... Rabbit meat is so lean you can starve on rabbit meat because it doesn't have fat and you could technically over time not get the fats and stuff, the uh, nutrient density or something, something to that effect. What is it, rabbit fever or something? It was something that used to happen back in the day, right? At least in, uh, from what I heard in the US. Um, but I feel, like a, I feel like it's a vague, vague memory. Most pet foods are terrible for them? Yeah, I bet. Corn is terrible for everything. Fuck corn, man. I mean, I see how it's a it's a, it's a necessity, and we it's We were just cheap. praising corn tortillas earlier, and now you're like, fuck corn. No, 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 no. I'm saying it's not good for you. I'm saying yeah. I prefer the taste of it. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. You're eating it with shit like actual beef and meat and turkey and shit. So it's like, oh, okay, it's just... It's just a shell. Now, if your entire thing is cornmeal, it's like that's you're not getting enough nutrients out of that just alone. Probably not. Um, corn and what is it? Corn and grains, or what is not good for dogs a lot? And a ton of dog food is made out of just like just fucking filler material. I think it's corn and. That sounds about right. Something corn else. is typically the thing they go for with a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Watch my store. Now, of course. It's economically viable to do that, and I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna get mad at anyone for being, you know, like, how dare you not buy the expensive, high quality stuff? It's like sometimes that's all you got. Yeah. Does he have more stuff that I can buy? But damn, I pretty much stopped eating corn at all possible chances just because it's like my body really doesn't need that, does it? As I sip my my adult beverage. <laughs> Rolling on there. And we'll definitely do a little bit of the tech dungeon before we call this stream. For corn, sure. corn and wheat. Thank you, Hell. Uh, where does this one go? Is it, uh... No, it's not one of those. Sensei, I think what you're referring to, I think, I don't know, is mixtamalization. And I might even be saying it wrong. Oh, shit. There's another page. That explains a lot. <clears throat> oh, um, that's where they went to? Yeah, this gives the um, And I do believe that's how uh, South American uh, cultures went about uh, using their corn um, to get the most out of it. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I think that's what it went down with. 
uh, mixtimalization, I think is, is the correct terminology, if that is even referring to the correct thing. Neat. Mixtimalization? Oh. I don't, there's, there's extra fucking letters in there that I'm, I'm Jack not getting, I must not be getting right. Ask us anything. Jack says, yet another possible chuckle-worthy Tomodachi life thing. This one really relating to Duke Nukem, but Mr. Nukem finally stopped watching Oprah or playing with his Legos or whatever he does and got a girlfriend. Mm. I'm, I feel sorry for his girlfriend. Sorry that he stopped <laughs> playing with Legos. Um, Duke Nukem sounds like he'd be a shitty-ass boyfriend. Uh, yeah. Now I want you to guess who the person in question is. I don't think you're going to get it, to be honest. It could be literally anyone, but I want to hear your ideas. Uh, we got to give names? Girlfriend for Duke Nukem. It's got to be someone spicy. Candy cop. Has, has the, uh, has the, the good spot to be able to fight back against his fucking nonsense. Candy wow, cop. that looks terrible. There's a light. Oh, don't go on the lightning. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think of Candy Kong's like personality. Does she have she sassy. have what it takes? I think she's sassy enough. She could do it. I don't want to put anyone else through that. Candy Kong is also way stronger I, than Duke. So. I wouldn't want to yeah put anyone through that for yeah. Duke. Uh, Candy Kong uh, could handle her own against Duke, no problem. I would say um, Doctor Phil. Yes, that's <laughs> actually you know just what? because yeah. that would be pretty. That would be pretty fun to see Doctor Phil and Duke Nukem just fucking arguing i'm down for that <laughs> dr phil is terrible and duke nukem is terrible too put them together get a terrible sandwich yeah hell blue wilderness that's what we feed uh zoe we feed uh we feed her blue wilderness or no i'm sorry we feed her uh a mixture of blue wilderness blue buffalo give me that uh, and i think there might be another thing but yeah it's mostly meat based uh, it's dry food still. It's not the wet stuff. Although we have been known to give them that on occasion. Occasion. Uh, yeah. But Zoe, uh, if she eats cheaper food, uh, we've noticed uh, she actually gets kind of like bloody stool. Not to be gross. Yeah. Uh, it and, happens. And throws up and gets diarrhea. And it's like, oh well. Dogs okay. are very Sensitive finicky stomach. stomachs. Like when you change their diets, you have to be very careful with that kind of stuff. Um, okay. Stay safe boss. too, LJ. We'll see you later, dude. Later, LJ. No, I, I feel that. I feel that for cats. Hell, I feel that for cats. That makes sense. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, oh, that. Was it? Was it Oprah? <laughs> Who was it? Bye, Grant. Later. What up, Giz? Hey, Giz. We're getting people slopping. Uh, slopping. Swapping. Flopping in. Swapping in. And out. Take all that loot. You're doing pretty damn good here, man. Yeah, my eyes are about to die. You, but... you do good. Well job. Well job. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's see what it yeah. has, and then we can, yeah, do our thing. Maybe get one more sale and set oh, up yeah. for the next, you know, because we got to get all these new prices. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not saying we're ended it now. I'm just, yeah. Uh, it was Hornet? <laughs> oh, no. No, not Hornet. <laughs> not our little void princess. They deserve better in life. <laughs> That's a bad relationship waiting to happen. Well, they're going to look back on that and go, like, should listen to Chris and Sam. Should have yeah. dumped Duke. Well, Giz, you know, I mean, it seems silly to ask it, but you guys know we're streaming. You know? What? They went and played a bunch of the couchlings, organized the time to go play Among Us while we're streaming. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, we're streaming. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, That's great, but it's like, yeah, we're streaming. FedEx just lost your monitor? That fucking sucks. That fucking sucks, man. Oh, shit. Dog food is tricky. Dog can't have grains or she starts to lose fur. Oh, jeez. Hey, dog allergy is a big deal, man. Um, yeah. Uh, Danielle was just talking about her dog. Uh... I didn't think their, that was a thing growing up, but it definitely is. Yeah, they're giving their dog allergy shots, which is helping. Yeah, uh, they did that for uh, my dog, too. They've little, actually found that... Um, you're a little low on health. I don't they've know. done some natural you're... like remedies and stuff. That really, mm -hmm. My dad did some research to find something that's been helping my dog rig you out. Get out of there! <laughs> no, that's true, Fred. The Void of Hornet can devour his limitless ego. For, uh, for, uh, get out, get out, get Duke out, get Nicole. out. <laughs> That's true. She it's not a, a limitless ego. It's just a vapid ego that is. It's kind of like a uh, immovable rock. <laughs> it's not even strong. It's just 
unmovable. <laughs> Are you spawning stuff? God, mm -hmm. get out. Yeah, this one's gonna take some time, man. This one looks hard. Yeah, gonna have to upgrade some stuff. Yeah. It is the Pat second dropping to in. last one, so yeah. we're getting close thanks to everybody that's been sticking around, which thank you for hanging in there for Moonlighter, because I've been enjoying this. Pat and Jay dropping in the Korgs and the and the unicorn snowmen. Thank you. Thank you. Pop, um, pop, pop. Most pop. pets are gluten intolerant, so grains are a big no-no. I mean that makes that makes sense. Hey Sarah! Hey Sarah. How's it going? Thank you for the resub. What the hell is this? Much appreciated. Nope, that's not it. Oh! Oh God! <laughs> Destroyed the fucking jar. Uh, oh my God! Sente gifted a tier one sub. The heck! Thank you, Sente. Okay, this changes, but I don't know what it's worth. Let's put that over here. Let's put that there. Let's change that. I still don't understand how you're going about doing it, but as I understand it, you're doing it well. I for hope the, I'm doing it well. For the organization of the, the items and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's hard to tell until you read on, but since I read it when I was playing on the Switch, it's like, okay, I'm just going to Yeah, no, I'm, it doesn't this. seem like you're breaking it. It seems like you're doing it appropriately, just from a third-party viewer kind of thought process. Um, and pop and lock. Oh, oh, oh. You know, so what I think a lot of this is, is going to be uh, AOE-based enemies yeah. rather than the last one where they were uh, more aggressive and actively fighting you. I think these ones are going to be a lot more kind of just like, don't stay in their line, don't stay in their AOE circle. You know, it's going to be a lot of like slow baiting. Oh, yeah. No, not my toilet paper. My stuff. Your saran wrap? Yeah, our saran wrap. <laughs> Aluminum foil, whatever you want to call it. Oh, excuse me, goddamn. Freaking Ramu device. Get out of here. So I finally saw, speaking of Ramu, I finally saw the uh, Final Fantasy, what is it, 16? 16 looks dope. It looks tight. Um, I don't know if the video was, oh god, we got a hype train coming in. Magical hey. Bonnie subscribed to Twitch Prime, destroyed the jar, and started the hype train. You guys have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. I think it's five minutes. Holy shit, hype train. Level one, 95% there. Subbing, gifting, or using bits get the hype train to the next level. And people who run the hype train uh, get to be conductors and have uh, special little symbols next to their name. And everyone who participates get awesome emotes and stuff. So guys, if you would like to join in on the hype train to bring it up to level two. I'm doing no damage. I'm in danger. Uh, <laughs> I'm in danger. Um, the uh god you are low on health but you might bye bye you might want to yeah i was gonna say bounce out of this one i am failing right now uh i'm not ready for that what, it, what is it uh nice we hit hype train level two thank you guys uh i think it's anything over a hundred bits or a sub or a gifted sub brings it up and puts you into it for uh extra emojis and things like that and um conductorisms as well i would like to eventually i will Sometimes. animate something for that um it's on my to-do list yeah, no, we got we got work cut out for us. Right? I like adding extra little. Uh, the animations are fun. Teaching my animation class has been both uh, illuminating for myself mm. and for the kids. Cause like, oh right, rules. Thank you guys. Pat thank dropping you, in the hundred. Lily dropping in the five hearts. Uh, I believe we figured this out, right, Blue? That it's cumulative yeah, as houses. well. No. So you can do like Sente did with the the one corgis, and I think so long as they add up to. 100 total i think it cumulatively goes up whoa fred with the 500 bits thank you thank you fred thank Doosh. you sente 38 percent on hype train level getting to hype train level two okay let's sarah i'm so favorite. glad you're here thank yeah, you yeah thank you sarah Dropping been a while since we've uh, heard from you or at least i've heard from you uh yeah. good to hear from you again yeah what are you what are you looking to upgrade you got six hundred and twenty-seven thousand. well i don't have Actually, you know what? I can upgrade some of these things. I think you can get two or three things, tops. We leave a little money so we can escape still. I don't think we're going to beat this boss until... No, I need like, one more, though. Maybe near the end of next stream. No, probably not. It's going to be a lot of uh, getting Oof. around stuff. The Almost jar like... exploding, blue lip. Thank you. 44% to level two hype train. These all look really cool. I love the weapon design in this game. No, it's oh, sharp, right? Shoot, I can do that right now. 
Oh, no, if... no, you can't. You just shy. You just spend a little bit more. But I have the materials, which is awesome. So, uh... Let's... Yeah, all, all you need to do is open up the shop and sell a bunch of stuff. I can get those item Yeah, go item, ahead and get uh, that item for list up. Um... Pat dropping in the 101 bits. Bloof. I have marks now. Thank you, Pat. What I need and what I don't need. Uh, I can start getting rid of some older stuff. Okay, don't Sarah, I'm, I'm catching up with chat. Don't need this. Haven't been in stream due to some personal issues. Well, I hope you feel That's better. What, I, hope yeah. it, I hope it works out. I, hope, I do too. I hope the fact that you're here now means a good indicator that things are starting to get better. We're all going through tough stuff. That's why we're all in it together. Yeah. When you need other people, rely on them. A Don't little, uh, keep it all bottled up. A little distraction to help out with some of this stuff, right? Yeah, for sure. Sometimes a distraction, while not solving the issue, it helps. can help. Yeah. At least take your mind off your problems for even just a little bit. Yeah. We hopefully, run into that as well. Hopefully we're able to do that. Uh, I love not, it when you they can get mad at us and tell us Hornets will not <laughs> void. And, you know, go into the comment section. One or the other. The audio cut out? Is it? Is it back? Is it back or is it gone? Motherfucker, we're literally not even touching this shit. It's fine for Helena. Hel 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 Did I say it Helena? wrong? Helena. Ah, God, my eyes. My eyes. Um. Oh, cool. A bot, too. Awesome. <laughs> Spam bot, Bloom, or Pat, or anyone who can get it. If you can take Sock, care of that, I appreciate Sock that. Sock J Davis 109. Thank okay, you, guys. Thank you, Blue. Um, and thank you guys for calling out the spam bot. Guys, we have a minute and 25 seconds with 50% way to level two hype train. All right, I'm gonna sell this stuff. That should be fine. Yeah, I got the list up for you too. I don't have a ton of stuff to sell. Um, um, I need I don't to know what- I uh... think we've dropped any more. Here's the, here's the problem. I don't think we dropped any more frames. Yeah. Uh, now we're at 0.6, but earlier we were at 0.7. So that means we, have, we should not have dropped any additional since we've been streaming. Um, how much is uh, plastic gonna, film worth? I'm gonna have to check that fucking the lines and stuff. Plastic film. Hey, thanks for a thousand bits, Sente. Holy shit, Sente! Knocked it out of the park. Level two, 100%. We're starting level, going on to level three. So plastic Spirit film. Spirit bombed it in the last what 40 seconds? Oh, I'm looking at the tech dungeon. Uh, 2420 plastic film. 2420. Thank you, Sente. That's awesome. Level two complete. Uh, let's see. Spam is void. <laughs> spam is void. I believe it. But I love spam. We are five percent oh, no, to completing thing. Okay. level three or getting yeah completing level three. I guess the thing would be it. The hype train destroyed your headphones. <laughs> if only they were attached. And then can you look up how much uh, insulating dust is worth? Insulating dust. I don't know what dungeon it's from. It's either the fire or the other one. I would think tech one. dungeon, but I'm not seeing it. Weapons, broken weapons, insulating dust. We're broken. Iron hard, insulating dust. Hell and hyena, yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't see static insulating. again, Jack. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. They broke, and you're gone. But we're literally not even touch. Yeah, what we're not fuck? touching anything. You guys there? I'm gonna look for another pair. Wow, look at our drop frame totals. It just moved. Huh? Weird. One three three seven. 1,337 that's dropped weird. frames. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that, too. Um, how much that's is insulating a, dust worth? I can't find it, dude. Oh. Uh, insulating dust. Giz says it's fine for them. Try insulating dust in the fire dungeon, because I don't think it's tech. I did. Inflammable liquid. Nope, nope, found it now. Uh, 2,255. It was way up on that fucking list. Okay. That should be good to sell some stuff. Uh, Sarah says 2050 is base value. Hmm. Um, 2255 is what it says for, uh, on this specific list. Thanks, too. Sarah. 
Yeah, I don't know about the static, guys. I apologies. Yeah, sorry that there's been stream issues the last couple times. We don't really it, know what yeah, the issue is. Jack, you're right. It seems to be only happening on uh, uh, Moonlighter. <sighs> Who knows? Because it didn't. None of this happened on um, Death Road to Canada. Well, it's not a Switch game, so. Yeah, no, I don't. I can't think of what would possibly cause it. What was I saying before about hell? I don't even remember. Uh, Get think, back here! I no! Think... <laughs> no! Damn it! I think, uh... That one thing was worth a lot! I think you were saying that your pronunciation was not good. Yeah, I... Pronunciation, I have to say the name at least three times and have conversations with people verbally. You... I thought our... Why is there a bird in my store? Get out! I was gonna say, I thought our lady was supposed to help out with this. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? People just stole shit again. What? I need to. What the fuck wow. is. Yeah, actively watch this now. What the hell? Is that bird gonna take something? I don't know. <laughs> you better buy that banker. Oh my god. I saw it come in and I'm like, uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on? I saw two people steal shit. You better not try and steal my shit this time, Grandma. <clears throat> yeah, Giz, maybe. I gotta, we gotta, uh, I'm still trying to schedule Mike coming over to record that. And I'm get... still trying to schedule in my sketch session for everybody, too. Yeah. I, it, uh, I have not forgotten. We've um, been flustered with just nonsense and silliness. Yeah. And it's... scheduling conflicts yeah. and work. And it's been, it's been crazy trained, too. Just like everybody, life's been, you know. Yeah. We're fine, but you know, it's been a it's been a long week. Teaching this like last yeah. couple weeks has been intense. Yeah, the bird was a decoy. God damn it, Pat! <laughs> the Blue Jays. It was the canary again. in the mine shaft. Mordecai. <laughs> um. Okay, so we got some of it. One. Th okay, only one thing was stolen. All right, that's not. It's not terrible. I'm gonna get you, thief. I'm gonna stab you in the heart. Hype train is over, everybody. Success. What was that, a level two? I think so, yeah. Level two hype train emote. Uh, such strong support. Level two completed. Choo choo, everyone. Choo choo, thank you all. motherfucker. Thank you guys all for yeah, thank supporting you. the hype train. I hope you enjoy your new emotes. What is that, like a, an electrified skeleton? Or is he on. Is that an electrified skeleton? I have emotes no are idea. now being delivered. If you guys were part of the hype train, congratulations, Fred. Is that a conductor train I see right there? That's awesome. <laughs> Hi! Right on. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and helping out and Appreciate getting, some, getting some cool emotes and stuff out of that. That's, Let's go back at that tech. That's match. fucking rocking. Stab some stuff, shoot some stuff with a bow and arrow. You guys killed it. You did a good job. Uh oh, uh oh, did it break? Did it break it? I might have broke it. I might have to hit it again. Hopefully there's no static. Hopefully not. Ooh, we'll see in about one second. Nope, oh, yep, right still broken. This is the right one. <laughs> I reset it. Uh, you know, I don't. I think this is the last dungeon, even though there's one more door. Um, maybe it's just a boss for that last I one. I think it might just be a boss or something because uh, I'm maybe. not seeing an item list for the dungeon. If there's no item list, you're right. Then it probably is just like a hey, boss. <laughs> um, so maybe two more sessions before we're powerful enough to uh, probably take it down. Vicente is the conductor. Why did they let me drive? Do you drive a train or do you operate You conduct operate it. it. You operate it. <laughs> do you have it go break break and then you have it go zoom zoom? What about choo choo? No, no, no. Is that, but if you do say you say choo choo motherfucker. Life? Choo choo motherfucker. Uh, I went to the train museum in Sacramento. I love that place. It's so much fun to draw. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's a, tra there's a classic train museum in Sacramento. Big old trains you can draw, miniature trains. It's dope. I don't. I guess I. I just. Like, I, it, it just seems like, like a weird appeal. Big giant trains, like classic trains, you can walk through, like from the twenties and stuff. Okay. And before, okay. Like, so eighteen hundreds, it's, it's like you can walk through them. Kind of like old spaghetti factory style, like way those more carts cool. or no, like actual trains. Oh shit! Like I actual mean, those, train those cars were, you can walk through. Those were train cars. Those were open air train yeah, cars, I know, right? But like, is it? Is it? like vastly different or i'd say it's I don't, yeah, vastly I don't think different. I understand. it's very much like a museum like you'd find like think of like a car museum but trains hmm it's dope so this, much fun to draw trains are fun cool. to draw 
Um, I'd like in, to be able to go on a train someday. They're super expensive. They are, yeah. Um, Especially like like Jen wants to be like do it like a wine train or something sometime. Oh. But it's like, oh cool, yeah. yeah. She watched that so, Bob's so Burger have, episode and she's like, have, I want to do that. Three four hundred dollars to drop on that. <laughs> uh, I'd like to do that too. My friends at some point want to do a get on a train and go somewhere and then just draw the entire time we're on the train. Mm. Um, ooh, and then uh, go to like somewhere like. I don't know utah or something that'd be cool yeah i don't know if i would i mean it might be fun to be on a sleeper like a sleeper train mm -hmm. um but i've i don't know if it would make that much of a difference for me just personally just because i've i've slept on boats before like no, i imagine it would I be remember. similar you know i don't remember it being that big of a deal i went on a train down to la um yeah but you didn't sleep on it right like an I think overnight I, I sleeper i took a sleeper train. Um, but no. I meant like something like where you get like my like no, Orient I know Express yes. like you, you I know have exactly the bed what you're and stuff. About. My yeah. parents have done it a couple times. My mom likes it, but my mom also hates flying. Mm. Um, I don't have any potions. I don't know if Lily's I. Lily's saying, "Hey, if Hell Changer used a name to his real name, would that be easier?" I think he just no, worries that you won't just, recognize no, him just afterwards. Keep it. No, um, I, 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 want know, I know keep... Hell is Hell. Yeah, just keep whether hell. it's Hell or Heck. Or Yenna, yeah. or just straight up hell. Like yeah. that's how I know them personally. I like, I prefer if you just keep it the same. Keep keep your general. username what it is. Yeah. Um, Don't have to change it on account of us. Yeah, you do not have to. Do that. <laughs> the I jelly's eating you. We'll adjust just like I have to adjust for my students. Would I be interested in playing Among Us with some couchlings after the stream? No. Today's no. it's been a long day. On top of that, you guys were playing it during the stream, so I don't really care to support that. <laughs> If I'm gonna just gonna be straight up with you, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I don't really care to support that. Um, I hope you understand, and I'm not being mean or rude about it. I'm just saying, I, yeah, I'm a little, uh, a little salty about that. Static's back. No. That sucks. Well, watch that. Not even get sad. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh man. Would y'all consider playing either of the Nino Kuni games? Asks Magical Bunny. Uh, Magical Bunny, you <laughs> you saved up 500 couch coins just to ask us that? That is some, that is some awesome commitment just to ask us that question. Cause you just started following today, right, Bun? Um, I like the Nino Kuni games is to that a the degree. That, They're the Miyazaki like. I was gonna games. say, yeah, is that the um, Miyazaki like style? That kind of. Uh, that like goo, get uh, not goobly, Ghibli, Ghibli, <laughs> uh, Ghibli, Ghibli uh, that kind of Ghibli, Ghibli yeah, style, Ghibli, yeah, gobble, abu, gobble. yeah, um, that kind of like thick face, like chunk and half and weight. It's directly based. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna yeah, die. bud, you're a little low on that one. Um, good call though. You got a lot of loot. RPGs are weird, just because unless they hit really hard, they're a huge time commitment. Um, in terms of recording, they would, take months to finish. I would say. Uh, respectfully, no magical bunny. Um, it's just because not. of the time sink, and I think uh, the lack of uh, fan interaction that would come with it. A lot of it's all voice acted, so then is there's it not, really? Wow. Yeah, so there's not really much for us to do in terms of that. So if we talk and make jokes over certain stuff when it's voice acted, people get annoyed. RPGs are a tricky situation. Like they have to be the right RPG, and yeah. I enjoy those. Is that games. Bowser behind that um, tree? No, it's not. No, okay, it's not. all I saw was the, the red hair. Uh, was it the art strips, uh, art tips stream you were talking about? Yes, I still plan on doing that. I've just been, I finished planning out my whole animation course, so that's all taken care of. I just need to teach it. Um, I have pretty much planned everything for my school year, so I've gotten to the point where it's like I'm almost good. It's just on top of what I'm working on uh, for the channel. My time has been limited, but I would like, I'm still going to do one before the end of September. Um, I know we're about to finish. Uh, yeah. Maybe this, th probably this Thursday, I'll just do it. And it'll just be a shorty. Maybe give Chris a break from streaming on Thursday if he wants. Uh, mm. Unless you want to stream. Trying to plan things out. Uh, I mean, I think I might like to stream. Okay. I think I they might like the stream. Everybody. I mean, if, if it's the, if you the, if you want to only... plan for it on Thursday and that's yeah. the only day, then yeah, I'll I'll give it that to you. Uh, Thursday is the only logistical day I could possibly do. I'll it. give that to you. Yeah, then. I don't like. You can you can do the art stream on Thursday then. Nice weapon. Sword. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, I just thought I was like 
preferred, like I'd like to still do Thursday. Can you do like a Tuesday? But if you're if your only day is Thursday, then because I think yeah, let's Tuesday do, let's do, we're gonna be recording. Let's um, do Thursday then. Yeah. Uh, for the art stream, for the what is it? Sam Scribble support. Sam Scribble support, and we'll just make it a quickie, like an hour. Or so we'll all pick some. Uh, Maybe I'll stream after stuff. or something then. Yeah, or, like you or, can always do it after. Well, like I could do it for like an hour, hour and a half, and then. Yeah, if it's gonna be short, maybe maybe we'll run like a double stream that day or something. Yeah. Get well, off we, of that me. that will be uh. That will be up for contention, I guess. Yes, you're trying to unless out. something comes up, I should be able to do it. Um, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, but it will definitely be a short one because Thursdays are my long days when it comes to teaching. But I, I did promise all of you, and I do want to uh, fulfill that promise. Um, but yeah, no, we'll give Sam Thursday then for the stream. Uh, and if it's short enough, uh, maybe I'll still do a, maybe like a shorter Death Road to Canada on Thursday. Yeah. Maybe we'll do like an hour and a half, you know? Um, yeah, Sensei, considering how quick the Death Roads have been, the last run was cursed, dude. Just yeah, I heard fucking you yelling could at not, one point. Could not catch a break at all like the wor like two of the worst runs i've had in a long time just like terrible fucking luck that's one of the game glitched up too like one of them was a rescue one and there was nobody to rescue huh. and then they showed up in a non-rescue mission after it's like what what the yeah, fuck is weird. the game doing so like we i just couldn't catch a break it was fucked up i was like all right i'm fucking done with death red again for right now <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one was bad uh, um, 3D All Stars is kind of no, it's not. Giz. I think they're talking about you? monetarily for some reason. Why? I don't know. It's three amazing games that are over like 40 hours each. What's its price? 60 for. How is that a ripoff? Those games are all hella long. How is that a fucking ripoff? Sunshine is great. I bought it myself. First of all, um, try and buy the physical copies of that for less than all three for less than sixty dollars in total. Sunshine will be easy, but good luck playing Galaxy on like a no, not even concert. just playing find those copies for yeah. less than sixty dollars in total i challenge that i don't know the exact numbers you might be able to but i think it would be a challenge to do it i think it'd be a challenge because finding the wii version of galaxy might be like cost you like 30 probably 30 for sunshine you could probably get mario i imagine like 64 mario 64 would Cheap. be probably expensive though nah there's so many copies of them i'm gonna look it up right now it might be I'm more expensive but 64 they made so many mario 64 i figure sunshine will be the most expensive with galaxy being behind it um mario 64 original let's see if like we can find a it'd be price. nice if it was 40 but like it's three games and they play well i played them the other night they all play super well like it seems good to me let's see uh, pre-owned GameStop, $49.99 for Mario 64. eBay, $18.99? I mean, yeah, about 20 bucks. That, that's... Original box, 50, oh, $54. Yeah. yeah. Um, prices are pretty ranging. I mean, I'm not trying to knock people's monetary income. Like, that's not my point. Um, but, but I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. Whether you have the money or not does not mean that it affects if it's a ripoff or not. Yeah, I just don't think it's a ripoff. I wouldn't um, say it's a ripoff. Now, I mean, I'll say some other things about their their monetary window of fucking when they're selling it for. Yeah, I think like that's selling only for six months. That's a weird I think thing. that sucks. Yeah. Like, fucking terribly. But I don't know I don't, why. they're. I mean, I know why. I wouldn't say it's a ripoff. I think it's a shitty tactic. Makes yeah. sense, but it's a shitty tactic. Um, Someone at corporate. It's not a remaster. Yeah, no, that, that's. It is a remaster. It's not a remake, is what you mean. It's a remaster because they upped the textures in a lot of different areas. Like they polished it up. To... I think that might have been what they meant. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's, it's not a, a remake. It's not like Spyro it's not a, Trilogy. Well, I wouldn't say it's a full remaster, but it's definitely like new textures, new. You know, I mean, they, they I, added some minor things that you would expect, but it I mean, seems, that, that's the definition. It seems limited. I mean, yeah, it's not like they. There's a difference between a remake and a remaster. Sarah right? insists that they're the regular original textures. Not some of them. I've heard that some of the voxels were different. Uh, I didn't. I don't understand it to be the same. From what I've seen, like some of that stuff is like they polished up some of the textures. Like it's not like. They didn't go in and make new textures, but a lot of them have been polished up. Because remember, a lot of that stuff wasn't been a, even. It might have been a meme that I saw. Yeah, that the we wasn't even talking about the boxes. 720p, like a lot of that stuff has been polished up. That's four by three ratio, like Sarah yeah. saying. Yeah. Like they, they polished those games up. Now it's not something like a Spyro trilogy where they remake it, 
Um, Difference of remake versus remaster. Yeah, yeah, remaster. Remaster is just like, we're going to take the original thing. Like, Are they limiting the digital or just the physical copies? I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to go off the Nintendo store. Sente is saying, I thought it was only the physical that was limited. It might be physical that's only limited, and that might have been I, the... If they're only... If they're, if, okay, if they're limiting the physical run... I don't I don't really have a problem with that too much. I disagree with it. But what are they going to do? Print it out for eternity? Yeah. 6 months does seem short. The real crime with it is there's no Mario Galaxy 2 on there. My boy Yoshi got hanging <laughs> hung out to try. That's the real crime at all. If it's this. if it's physical, I don't have a problem with it. And they and they're going to keep selling the digital. Um but I don't I don't, Nintendo I didn't was bad this. with the Is details, that, I don't know which so one. I don't know if they clarified it. Um, they might have clarified it since. Both are limited? Well, that's fucking nonsense. I mean, it's yeah. not nonsense. It makes financial uh, sense for them to it'll probably try be and like, drive up sales for the immediate purchase. Um, it'll probably be one of those things, like, once you buy it, like, you can always re-download it. But, yeah, they'll probably do, like... Oh, that would be incredible bullshit if you can't. No, you will be able to re-download it. There's yeah. no way they're not going to do that. That would be some some extra stupid bullshit. Because there's been stuff like um, like games that have gone out of license, like the Ninja Turtles in Time remake, mm -hmm. which was terrible. Uh, um, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Uh, b -b 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 which is finally coming back, which is awesome. PT. Yeah. So like you could. So that um, one's like I think permanently gone. I don't think you can. That's permanently gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. can't even yeah, redownload that's, that that's one. That's done. Yeah. Um, Unless you, they sell PS. What is it? PS fours. They sell PS4s that have it downloaded now as the main thing of selling the game. Yeah. It's being like, oh, yeah, an no, $800 PS4. It's like, what? You? Oh, it was PT on it. Uh, okay. I mean, not not okay. I wouldn't pay $800 for it, but I'm like, okay, that that does that checks more out. check out for the price than uh, why they would do that, you know? And I just I just made up $800. I don't know but if it's in actually my mind, that. I'm just saying, like, why would you pay that much money? Yeah, in my mind, it fits the definition of a remaster because it's been polished up to HD format. That fits. Um, I would not call it a remake, though. Oop. Yeah, no, definitely not a remake. Yeah, remake goes under Spyro. Well, we'd have to check and see then if, if, if uh, graphically, if something changed or if it didn't change. So I mean, saying I, no, I, I don't personally know. They, I kind of left that to you for the, because I don't, I mean, you I'll, have the Switch. I so played I Sunshine. Those textures are dead, like, they, they were not what they were back on the GameCube. Now, some people are probably like comparing it to what would be done with the uh, Dolphin emulator, where it would up-res them, and it looks better than that. So they definitely did some work and polished some stuff up, but they made it look like the original version. So there's not going to be... Huh. Also, go back. you have to go find those original consoles and load them up and then see what they looked like then. Uh, a lot of people aren't doing that. It's how they remember them. I didn't um, play those games, so I don't have yeah. any way of knowing so, i'd like to see a side-by-side -side comparison or you know some kind of like hey this is what the original was this is what the new one is and i've seen some and that some are people like, have done that but then i've literally gone in game I, on the remake and like i don't see it at all like some people talk about like the toad face is changing it's like it looks fine some people said frame rate drops i have no frame rate drops how so. would a frame rate drop well i guess if you're emulating maybe it okay so i and that was before it came out and like i'm playing i'm like see any of that so i don't know what people are getting i'm not trying to like oh let's just uh defend nintendo it's like i i can clearly tell that they did some work now is it the level that like some remasters be. go through is it like Sarah final saying, fantasy 9 remaster wind no. waker hd huh was wind waker hd like a good yeah it's a remaster like a good re yeah. like did they do a lot of work on that i would say so like you have to still put it through its paces to make sure that's like stuff looks good um i didn't play wind waker so i have no idea i didn't play the remaster but from what i saw it's like yeah it's one to one where they needed to up res the png textures and jpeg textures they did hmm. um but you know like they upped it where they needed to like in for instance in mario 64 they upped all of the like lettering and stuff all that is polished up to 1080p and those are brand new textures bye jay uh, the paintings look up res, so they had to clean those up because if you look in the original 64, they were definitely not as crisp. Um, so they have put in effort to these things, but they look like the old games. Sarah saying they put in uncompressed textures and replaced the ones that were lost from the original that were unrecoverable. Exactly, but that would define... Isn't that a remaster, though? Yeah, it's a remaster. That's, that's work. Like, someone had to go in there and do that stuff. Um, I understand if your thought process is... You wanted more. 
I can understand I if you wanted three, to remake. But I think three games for sixty is definitely not a rip off, which was what no. originally what the conversation was about. Yeah, and I think people are like, oh well, the Spyro remaster has all three, and it sounds like well, it's a different company, and this is Mario versus Spyro. I hate to break it to people, but there's a quality difference in games, in my opinion. This Spyro is fine. Was, that was but... definitely remake and yeah. not remaster. And Spyro Remaster, I mean, remake looks great. It's fantastic. I love the artist that does the work for mm -hmm. it, but I've always felt the Mario games are like the best around, and I'm not even a big Mario fan. Um, so I have no problem with Nintendo being like, yeah, it's 60 bucks. It's three games that are all hundreds of hours. Uh, like, Galaxy is like a I don't know if you do everything like easily a hundred hour game um really yeah like i didn't could, play any of that damn. it's a long ass game it's huh. like zelda territory if you get all the stuff if you get all the stuff like think how long mario 64 is all those games are I, long. like i said i haven't the only one i've played has been mario 64 and i played it on the nintendo 64 and that was it i didn't like i, I didn't console jump back to the 64 and replay it years yeah. later i only played it when it was still, a, you know, it wasn't yeah. nostalgia back then. So looking back at it, my mind is definitely like probably some nostalgia goggles. You yeah. Know, on. Um, um, I don't have. I would the have most preferred thorough. to be forty dollars. Don't get me wrong. I wish it had been forty. <laughs> But I, I also think three don't... games though. Like, but three games for sixty bucks. I'm like, all right. It's fine. Nintendo. They never fucking do sales. Yeah. Is it that surprising? It's not really. That's the, that's another thing. Like, did you expect Nintendo not to sell? I didn't for 60? expect Nintendo to not do sixty. Like, I totally. Three games. I just knew they were going to. I'm bad at math, but um, I mean, like, yeah, even the twenty dollars thing... a game doesn't seem bad, even yeah. for, especially by Nintendo standards. They look exactly like they would in like 1080p like that's all i was asking for too um, the jumping glitches i heard that they kept uh a lot of the glitches oh yeah uh, sente i heard there's like a rocket boost in some kind of uh in the the mario fucking squ squirt sunshine water sports event thing oh yeah where you yeah. can like charge up your rocket somehow and fly up into the sky and literally like see the whole fucking map because you could fly up so high and i remember get, that get air time for sunshine. minutes um, um, I heard so they for kept me, it was a no-brainer. A lot of those. No, I can't verify for a lot of them. This is just what I was hearing through side stuff on, uh, like, funny little videos on Twitter and stuff. Um, so it says, I guess for me, the kind of person who has all of these games playable on my Wii, it feels like See, a shame. I don't, I don't own any of them that anymore. That Nintendo wants to charge 60 for what feels like a pretty much just a sloppy port. It's not but a you, full remaster and then limit the release. But so you're talking a, about combined. It is you don't a remaster. Like it. it is a remaster, though. It's literally a remaster. I wouldn't because say those games weren't in 1080p before. I wouldn't say it's sloppy. And I wouldn't say it's sloppy what, either. Because of the ratio? the three Because they kept the three-quarter or three-fourths ratio? It, is that the correct way to say it? Three, three to... It does, Three I mean, colon four? I'll have to load it up again, <laughs> but they were widescreen when I was playing it, so... Was it? I have no idea. Ratio, I'm only going off of what I heard from you guys. Yeah, it, it literally looks like an HD version of it. I played it handheld it's the other day. It's widescreen now, or letterbox, or whatever. Yeah, fucking like it's whatever the use. current. Like it's not um, the four by three ratio anymore, from what I've seen. Um, I didn't see any like special there bars. There's no boxes on the sides, or anything? no boxes on the sides. Like I don't. Maybe remember. I misunder. Maybe I miss. Uh, yeah. Read. Look, what they were if saying you already then. own the games, is it worth it? Probably not. But for some of us that don't have a playable 64 anymore, don't have the GameCube playable version anymore, and don't have a Wii, it's awesome to finally be able to get those games again. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> if you already own them, no, it's not really worth it. If you were looking for a full-on Spyro Reignited trilogy, you're not getting that from that. And that's fine to feel disappointed because of that, but I would not say it's lazy. Um, they, those games are still incredible and they're putting on a brand new platform and they had to go through the code and make sure that it emulated correctly on the consoles like that's still a lot of work Sarah's saying 64 is still 4 by 3 ratio I misspoke and said 3 by 4 um, or are you three sure? To four. Because Sunshine I'm... and Galaxy are 16 to 9 I'll look again but it did not, I did not see Fred any says black 64 can is confirm it stretched? 4 to 3 like are they just stretching is it 4 to 3 it ratio with straight with, with yeah with screen fit stretching are they or... screen fitting it four to three on the handheld screen maybe because there's the, the with the switch there was always like is it plugged in it are you doing look, handheld yeah. i was doing, doing handheld like... it didn't look stretched but either way like it's a one-to-one -one ratio in terms of sizing now uh, they should that. release the older paper it's Mario not games on stretched switch. then 
it's if it's not straight. I'll look then again. Four by three. I um, did not see it as four by three when I was playing it last night. The so. uh, the uh, blah, 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 blah. I think what I think they have the jumping glitches still in. As far as I've, I've with limited information I was given, Fred, the jumping glitches, the things like that, they kept it a little bit closer to true. Uh, they didn't change anything that they didn't yeah, need it's, to, it's as far up. as I understood. I even heard it's that they uh, they have a typo that's still in there. Yeah, like they, they maintained is, it. It's literally those games. So if you own them, yeah, and you don't want to own it on a modern console, then yeah, don't don't buy it. Lily says, "Do you remember the pachinko machine level on Mario Sunshine?" I heard Aaron yeah. rage over that motherfucking Some people level. hate Sunshine. I adore her. It's probably my favorite what? Mario next to Odyssey. I think they're talking about just that just that level. There that is, pachinko machine that level. That pachinko level particularly is rather annoying. I remember exactly what that is. I honestly feel like some people think it's the best part of Sunshine, which is the when you lose the water pack. I think those are the worst levels, honestly. Um, just because you play 90% of the, well, 70% of the game without it, with it and then to not have it all of a sudden makes those levels kind of frustrating because they go back to 64 style um not bad just oh I've... did they did they get rid of the so long gay bowser uh, did they uh i think so i think it got cleaned up or something holy like, shit they went and cleaned up some shit in those games like but they're one-to-ones i i don't I mean, when the trailer went out, like, I, did people think they were going to completely remake the game of Mario 64? I don't know. And Sarah, Sarah's, because uh, you're not catching up with Chad, I'm kind of yeah. kind of feeding you what I'm Yeah, able Chris to give is you. feeding me information, everybody. It's not that I don't care, it's just that no, 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 I can only concentrate on one thing. Well, I'm yeah. trying to act as a middleman. And being a middleman who doesn't understand, both of you know what you're talking about. You've right. seen the things that you're talking it's, about. I've, I'm sitting here like, I think this is what they're saying? Yeah, so like, for this, I just um, that I don't believe you when it comes to the 64 stuff i just don't remember it i'm gonna have to load it up and check it the, out after the stream the uh sarah says that uh they don't like the limited release stuff the most i don't like that either i don't think that's cool um i they're gonna do a disney vault type of shit where it's like oh it's on sale for like this yeah. limited time go pick it up and i hate that shit too especially I, if it's digital it. as well it's like yeah are you fucking kidding no it's like i'm not furious about it but i'm not like and like what the all right fine fucking nintendo whatever um you know nintendo has some backwards ass fucking ways of yeah like i'm not stuff. defending that but i'll defend no, the it's not. not worth it it's like if you've never played them go play them they're all fabulous games again to start yeah if you haven't played them i do think 60 dollars price point for it is fine yeah you're not being forced to buy it no, you're not you're being not. asked to buy it. But I get why people feel I, like they are, because they're like, oh, it's limited time. I, I understand the limited time. I'm saying if you're yeah. just talking about price point, I think it's worth it. I think now, it's if you it. have access to them and you or, or you have played them in the past, you're like, eh, not worth yeah. 60 to me. That's fine. That I makes think sense. As, as the three set of games for somebody my who hasn't played them or can't play them. My brother took all of my copies. So when we split up the game I copies, think it's worth it. he took all the Mario games. So I don't have Sunshine. I don't have Mario 64. I don't have Mario Galaxy. But so for me, it was bullshit. like, I was like, even though I'm not going to play them, like, we'll probably play them on the channel. Chris will probably play them, but I'm I, not going to. I never played them, so. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, I bought it mostly so he can enjoy them. Like, I'm not going to play through Galaxy again. I beat Galaxy, and I beat Galaxy 2. Even though I love Luigi more, like, I've beaten all of the Mario games minus 64. Like, I might go play through 64 on my own. Um, Jack, uh, did we did we miss your AUA? I'm sorry, Jack. What did you ask? I didn't see it. Or you know what? We might have answered it and it might have hit static. Might have hit static, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, we might have answered it back at the last. Was it between the last static and now? <laughs> like I, I feel like we mentioned it to you. It was about Tomodachi, right? One of the things too that's kind of, uh, and we'll get to Jack's questions for sure. Oh, 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 you know what? I didn't, I didn't answer that. Uh, he said sorry to derail the question. No, no, uh, it's fine. To, to go on to a different topic real quick, but. Uh, uh, did someone confirm the weather? The grocery store rescue from the last Death Road to Canada stream was an actual grocery store wet rescue. Uh, we didn't, I didn't confirm it. I was kind of uh, distracted after the last stream, guys. Uh, was that indeed what it was? I, I thought so. But I, you know, unreliable narrator. I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I meant to mention, I meant to discuss that real quick, but during our conversation about it, I didn't want to derail too hard. Um, would be nice if Nintendo made official emulators. Yeah. I, I'm they not... won't because they're doing it. They're adding games to the eShop, 
right? Yeah, I mean, not really. Uh, I am 100% against Nintendo with them being so... <sighs> Don't Lacks they use em emulators with... on their own bullshit? It's like... What? They may, yeah, but I mean, they own the property, so that's technically their right. So it's like, it, emulators are a weird thing. I don't, I don't really want to get into the minutia of that. Like, that's a, that's a complicated topic. Cause like, technically, you are using something that is infringing upon their rights, but you know, that's also legal, not mumbo jumbo. So it's there's a lot not, of gray. There's a lot of gray within it. Cause there's the right of like being do they able have to preserve the, games. Do they have the right to use somebody else's emulator? I mean, on they, their IP, like, how does that work? No, they would definitely not have that. But I mean, maybe because they made the console, and the, the emulator is literally using their console's tech, so there might be a legal. Oh, like loophole. a like a intellectual property type of yeah, thing. Yeah, there might be a thing. Where it's like, huh. we made the console. You're literally emulating. Our I really console, don't know. But I don't agree enough. with that about emulators to give yeah. any kind of I don't of have enough of a viable... educated opinion yeah. to really give a background. Go to ask Jeff Gersman on Twitter. I'm sure he knows. But there's much better people that would know better yeah. than us. Yeah, go ask a game journalist that. that's been around for a long time that would know <laughs> how to answer that question. I Yeah. If there's a lot of gray. I, I don't know how else to really answer it. Um, I'm going to make actually a door. Fred, minor shout out to Chris and Mike. Helltaker playthrough was fun, and I'm impressed you do all the puzzles without help. Um, I, I thought pause. I tried to like look up a help or something like that at one point. And it didn't really help me, so I was like, oh, these are just, this is just like a silly thing, right? Like I, I got to do the puzzles just by looking at them, right? That's I didn't even know that help was actual help, so I didn't ever utilize it. Um, let's see. Just think of any developer, Sarah saying. Thanks, Just Fred. think of any uh, developer, publisher put out a collection with that level of effort and then limited the release window. Nobody would be giving them the same level excuse Nintendo Mario gets. No, I think that they would. I think that's you... why it works. Yeah, I mean. I absolutely think that they would. That's why this tactic works. If Disney's been doing it forever. If the product is quality, like, yeah, I mean. They it, wouldn't they do it. Well. Like, well, if not, they played not to like say that, shit, then not to that'd say be that different. Nintendo has the best tactics. No. But I'm saying this tactic wouldn't be a thing if it didn't work. They, is they, it scummy? Yeah. Is it shitty? Is it pretty anti consumer in the long run? Yeah. yeah. And am I defending it? No. But I'm saying from a business standpoint, it works. It, like, it, from and a business that sense, it makes sense. That's why they're able to do it. Yeah. Do I agree with it? No. No. I think. If you have the access to be able to digitally sell these copies, fucking do it and to perpetu in in what what is the term? In perpetuality or what? Do it for fucking as long as you can. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't the way, agree like, with it. I think about it is they're probably trying to test the market, and if they make it limited, this is probably their thought process. If we do a limited run, people are gonna buy it right away. And they're gonna see like, okay, is there a market for us re-releasing our games? Whereas if they just put it up, maybe they won't. People won't feel the urgency to buy it. I'm not saying it's right. I think, I'm just saying I think that's their thought process. I think what Sarah is saying is that they don't want to support them doing that because it could, in the long run, sounds like they are dipping their toe in and testing it. Yeah. And if it is successful, they're probably gonna do it with other stuff. But and they don't want to support that. And yeah. Totally. I'm, it's, I'm behind that as well. That's fine. Yeah. But for me, like I kind of almost see that as a positive in some ways because that means maybe they'll start re-releasing more of their old games which they haven't been doing perhaps so if i could get more zelda remasters i would be okay with that even if it's only around for like in six month rotations we're like hey now it's the zelda one and then now it's the mario one um perpetuity thank you Blue. yeah like it's it's a weird gray area but i'm okay with someone saying like nah i ain't for that it's like okay yeah that's no, that's no, totally I, fine yeah i that's have cool. no problem with that statement vote with your money yeah that's exactly it. if that's you don't all. want to support something don't give them your money that's it's, it's kind of as simple as that like i see where you're coming from sarah yeah. Uh, it's just that's just my counter argument to it. Is that's how I don't I'm know if thinking. it's a counter argument. I, say I counter think it's argument. more uh, counter logic, adjacent, adjacent logic. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, they, make, may, they may see it the other yeah, way. Yeah, you make valid I points. I don't want to put. I'm not. Uh, yeah, definitely. This is a good, like, an actual uh, discussion about it that I think is clearing things up for me a lot. Yeah. Um, I didn't know a lot of these things, so that's informing me. You know. 
Wish they would do stuff on PC. Yeah, but that but doesn't make not, sense that's for Nintendo. Not... Like, think about it as a business. Like, why would they put their competitive game on something where they're not going to make the most money? That like, would affect their console sales and stuff. Yeah, like and Nintendo. That, that would be a fucking terrible. It'd move. be a terrible idea for Nintendo. Like, it's, financially, it's a zero for gain for their company. They make money because they force their the best IPs in video games are only on their hardware. You have to buy their hardware. It's how their business survives. I do not think that they would make more money in the long run by having it on PC as well. I think they would lose more money overall, Sarah, even with the open market. Sarah says, and if you would like me to give my point Where before uh, yeah, you, you give, give yours. Your point first. Uh, Sarah says, I'd rather them re-release nothing in this fashion than everything in limited windows. Limited releases highly disenfranchise poorer people and I don't think it's okay. Sarah, my counterpoint is strongly against that. Whereas if $60 is going to make or break you, I apologize but do not buy it then. Gaming is also an expensive Money hobby. Money is more important to be spent on food and things like that. Yeah. If you are not able to rebuy that game, I apologize. But then you don't buy that game. It's it sucks. It's not yeah, but... it's not the end of the world. Buy food, please. Like pay yeah. rent. Do the things that you need to do. At the don't, end of the day, games are a luxury. If sixty dollars over six months is going to break you, there is more than this silly game that you need to be dealing with. Yeah. Honestly. And I don't mean to be rude or or exclude people. I'm just saying, hey, there's much better things to spend $60 on if it comes down to that. Don't buy the silly game. Again, vote with your money. Even if it's limited, then it's more important to vote with your money then. Yeah. Like, don't buy it. And, I, and, I, and it sucks that it's, a, that it's a window that's six months, but I think six months for 60 bucks for three games, again, not a ripoff, and it seems as shitty as it is, logical and a wide enough window um especially nowadays with fucking covid six months feels like it's fucking two years long dollars for a switch so if you're buying a switch you're already at the point of where you're investing in i don't want to money shame people wanna, for I'm having not, the money to to buy a switch but not the games I, the big I'm investment not. of buying the switch is like, yeah because i remember when i was a kid i had a system i get like three games yeah. and that was it like that's what you get for like five years that's <laughs> that's all you get to have bud like we don't have the money to buy new games all the time. Now, we're, we're in a better position to, to be able to do that. No, and I know we're in stuff. a privileged position to be able to buy games. I'm not denying that for people. Because when I was a kid, too, I didn't have tons of games when I was growing up. Yeah. Um, But, I like Chris was saying, like you sometimes have to prioritize other stuff. And I think the window sucks. But... It's a gaming's also an expensive hobby too. Yeah. It's a hobby. And you gotta put priorities for other stuff. They are a business, and it they gotta work in their interest, not yeah in the interest of every like ninety nine. Well, I mean, I guess it's not ninety nine, but say it's the uh, bottom twenty percent of the market for yeah. the poor people who are not able to afford that. Their business tactics don't have to, and I'm saying they should. They should. They should. Yeah. They should not. But do I the can't. Whole thing. I can't hang them over them not specifically uh, focusing on that. You know, like that's it's not right. And bottom line, a business has to support itself. Yeah. Um, and they're gonna do tactics that allow them to make the most profit. That's what businesses do, and Is... to expect them to do otherwise. Businesses also are not your friends. Um, they're definitely not, and they they're in it to nobody make should money. fucking simp for them either. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that either, even though I'm excusing some of their behavior personally. I'm excusing it in a way that's describing like, hey, it's that's a business. How, we yeah, need to remind ourselves works. that it's a business. Yeah. Take away the you know nostalgia, the things like that. They're going to do what makes them money. Yeah, because remember, a business isn't a single person. It's a conglomerate of people that are in the interest of making themselves and their shareholders money. Especially now with the market the way it is, yeah, that's they're gonna be. You can more care for the game creators and the people that make the games. You can be behind those people, the creatives, but the company itself, it's a conglomerate. No, Sarah, Nintendo does need the money. Everybody needs money. They to need... say that they don't need to work in order to try and gain a profit. Nintendo wrong. also has Sorry. done in the past really well by their people when they were having the Wii U situation. Yeah, didn't um, the leader of the CEO that passed away not too long ago? Yeah, 
made he's... sure that everyone was paid and didn't fire anybody. So, like, they've taken good care of their employees. And to say a company doesn't need money, that's how they continue. That's the point of their business. That's Apologies. the point of their business to keep hiring right. people that's and what it paying is. people. Um, they're not a... They're not a... Uh, what is it? They're not a charity. They're not a yeah. uh, non-profit organization. Again, they're not your friends. Yeah. They're not... It's not their job to create this landscape for it and it's shitty that they don't i mean but it's shitty more on like a fuck that would be better if it was that way be, but that's not the yeah fucking point. i don't think that they should be living the release for mario but at the same time it's months upon months and hopefully people that want it can afford to get it and i'm sorry for people that can't i don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be gone forever it's a business tactic similar to the Disney Vault. Nintendo has a lot of dumbass practices. It's pretty cutthroat. Yeah. I don't like it either. I but don't I really do, like as it. As a business, we, as a business we go I fucking black and white yeah. about it. I understand it. I don't support um, it. I, I don't like it. And if you don't want to support it, stuff. I think you should vote with your money and don't yeah. support it then. 100%. Yeah. If you don't like the way someone's doing something, it is your right as a consumer to be like, nah, fuck right. that. I'm I not going to support the fuck out it. of that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, I've done don't that with it. things that I don't agree with. Like, uh, Hades was on the Epic Store for forever. Hades was one of the things that we brought up. I didn't end up it's buying it until it finally was fully released on Switch. I'm like, you I'm... still bought it, you scummy fuck. I love Gen Z. <laughs> I love her art, and I do well, love Super Now Sam and I are gonna have a big yeah. conversation after this. I still bought it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. No, I. Know. Uh, what are you? What are you? Argon bottle? But when it was limited only on uh, the PC, it's like, nah, I'm not Holy buying that. Holy shit! Thirteen thousand. 255. 13,000 for this? The Argon bottle? Yeah, the Argon bottle. 13255. Or whatever. I never bought Borderlands, though. Um, no, was I mean, jelly. it's pretty well known that we don't care for the Epic Store just because yeah. of one, mostly their security issues, uh, which have been fixed, as I understand it. Electric jelly. Uh, and two, um, their buyouts for. Uh, I'm looking for electric jelly. Uh, oh, it's in the jelly section. Yeah. Totally different section. Well, uh, I should keep and that And to their, their Never mind, don't sell that. Um, deals. Look up... Uh, what is the electric jelly? I'm still Look just, up I'm, Tech History 1. I don't need electric jelly. Electric, I have to hold on to that. I'm curious for electric jelly real quick. Uh, but uh, electric jelly is 440. It's not yeah, even I'm not selling it. Yeah. Uh, tech what now? Uh, tech, uh, tech History 1. 26,000... 400. Ooh, favorite level in Sunshine. All of the books for tech is going to be 26,400. 2,600? 2,600? Or 26? 26,000. Okay. 26,400. Um, also look up uh, Tungsten Reel. Uh, favorite level in Sunshine. Real R E E L. I don't know. I'd have to think. 9,000. 460. Um, I really like that first level you go to. That has the most memories where you fight Piranha Pete. I think that's probably one of them. Uh, training Big Sword and Training Bow. Ooh. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Let me go down to the section that has the weapons. Training So I like Borderlands. Yeah, Training Big Sword. I uh, liked Borderlands, Fred, but I wasn't a fan of the... I don't like when big companies do the exclusivity deals because yeah. I feel like they should be putting all of it on every console. I understand when small indie studios do it so they can secure funding for their small teams and make sure they can pay their people. 1100 for both. Um, so I can understand that. I still don't like it, especially on PC. How about training Bo? 1100 for both. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is it's why... It's not a contest of which is scummier, though, Sarah, yeah. between Epic and and timed exclusives it's for not. time exclusives or even exclusives for epic versus nintendo's limited time window um it's not a contest of which is scummier both of them are bad let's stop fucking yeah. comparing the both tactics of these people that are exploiting the consumers they're not your friends again yeah and let's just decide that both are bad like it's not a fucking which is more bad which or is less why bad. it's like no epic store even though i really you know? liked i really like super giant but i was like i'm not buying it until one it's fully released because I'm not which a huge... Fucking, is it still even? It's finally like, fully released. It Jesus fully came Christ. out. Which is why I bought it. And like, I really like Gen Z. I really like her art. I'm still looking for um, vacuum too. Uh, 7590. 7590. So, yeah. And that's how my moral compass kind of fit around that. I was like, all right, I can see it from this vantage point. But we, I we also have different experiences. So yeah. our, our thoughts and, and weights for these things are going to... Um, 
differ. There was something that's that why re- we're having these conversations. Uh, there was something that got released for 1705. 1705. Uh, yeah. There was something that got released for Epic no, no, no. Store. One, one seven zero five. Okay. Not seventeen thousand. There you go. Um, there was something that got announced just for Epic, and I was like, cool. I guess I'm not buying that game. It bummed me out. I forget what it was though. I don't know. Uh, welding rods. Welding rods. Where are you, welding rods? But there was something that got announced for that. I'm like. That blows. I don't want to. I don't like when the big companies are doing the Epic exclusives. Like it should be multi PC uh, platform. Three thousand, seven forty. Uh, do I think Mike and I will ever play the DLC for Human Fall Flat? Possibly, Pat. Uh, not anytime soon, unless it wins a Couchling vote. Um, but not anytime soon. It just. I know what the schedule is for the next, like two months. Yeah. And uh, book is it packed? So. To add anything on top of that right now is like that's that's really not an option. Awesome, you finished your character sheet, hyperspace cats. Who uh, yeah. Chris will make sure to take a look and make you pretty later. You tagged me, right, cats? Is that, is that yeah? What make I, sure you tag. Is I, I think they did. I think yeah. they did. Um, but yeah, not trying to start a fight or anything, Sarah. Like, no, no, this is an important yeah. conversation to have, and it's structured around games. Which so is hopefully, what like, we uh, are know. discussing. I hope you understand yeah. our, our side, Sarah. I don't think it's too far off to to what you're saying. I just, uh, I don't agree with every point. I have Trust me, Chris, different Chris and views. I disagree about a bunch of stuff all the time. You know? Um, it's good. It's a good conversation to have, and I, yeah. think it, I think it better informs the others who... And it's nice to hear, too, what someone know, else's vantage point of why they... I, I wasn't sure about it. I yeah. didn't know fucking jack shit about it other than the little tidbits so I, I heard here cool and there. So I think it's cool to hear, so. like, why someone is opposed to it. I think that's interesting. Um, to hear, like, in debate in a friendly manner of... You know why someone thinks this way and at the end we're talking about video games fred you're misremembering the exclusive to ps5 is not what it said it said console exclusive and that it's also coming and that it's also coming to pc pc is not a console pc is a console console. exclusive this is some of the tricky ways that they go about saying those things also street fighter 5 business is not your friend they use these tactics also (laughs) hold on oh god the bird Okay, so here's an example. Street Fighter V literally would not have been funded had Sony not come in and funded it. Capcom was in a bad situation. They were literally on the verge of bankruptcy, and they offered to have the console exclusive for Street Fighter V. Uh, Is that shitty? Yeah, it sucks that Xbox players did not get to play it, but that game literally would have not been made had it not been on PlayStation. Nobody would have been able to play it? Huh? Nobody would have been able to play it? It's on PC as well. Like, hmm. it was literally not going to get made. Sony funded it. I'm not it. aware about it. Yeah, so, so Sony like, okay. literally um, paid for the funding to make Street Fighter V. I get you. They were the so, publisher? They were like the publisher. Or, like, okay. they paid for it to be it. And then it was multi-platform on PC, where it was, like, available everywhere. Um, that <laughs> blue ass. <laughs> How can we both disagree and have an argument if we're both just me? I don't know. <laughs> I, w- I wonder that all the time. Why are you confused, I got left lady? hands and right hands, guys. I got two left hands. I don't talk into my own mouth. My body is a vessel. I talk in my right hand, same as the left. Um, so there's like situations <laughs> where that, like maybe Sony is directly funding Final Fantasy 16, and while you may think that's shitty, they're helping fund it. Then they're helping fund it. Um, it's a business at the end of the day. Like it sucks, but hey, it's also coming to PC, and there's a reason why I prefer PC nowadays. Yeah. Even like Xbox games are coming to PC, so it's like cool. I can play this game. Um, Notice con- everybody else comes out of yeah. the left hand blue. Everyone. It's a, it's oh a, no, uh, I don't want it to. It's a split up. Uh, I'll do that. I think that's everything. Um, uh, Lily says I remember never finishing Sunshine because it got stuck at the Mecha Bowser level in Peanut Park. Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people have so much trouble with that level. I never, I would always breeze through that when yeah, I got good, that good, part. Bro. I'm I not have try- no idea. <laughs> I'm, just- I'm not trying to knock people, but I know a lot of people complain about the around, rock, roller coaster level, I'm and that's actually around. one of my favorite. That's actually one of my favorite bosses. I, I don't like have that boss a lot. I don't have fucking context to any um, of this, so I'm just playing around. <laughs> Sun- like Odyssey took over Sunshine, but Sunshine's probably my second favorite Mario. I really like it. Um, yeah. What up, the old light? Hey, How's old it light. going? Um, I actually think we're, uh, we're, for, we're I think, yeah, I think we're, we're closing in on the end of the stream. It's 93 in here. It's 93 in here. I have stuff I gotta get done. It's, it's um, humid. You brush your teeth, I can tell. Because the air tastes clean. Did I? 
No, I was, I was making a joke that yeah. we're breathing each other's oxygen again and again. I did again. floss before this. <laughs> but I did Sorry, not Sorry, old light. I didn't. I, Sorry, we've old. Been, we've been going for three hours now. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's fucking hot in here. So. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be back for more Moonlighter in a week. Uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Sam will be doing his Sam Scribble support stream on Thursday. Fingers crossed. If something changes, I will let you know. We'll try and get through like three uh, of the illustrations that have been submitted. And so, I'll do quick like 30 minute talks on each one. Submit them and, yeah. on uh, Discord. Go to the yeah. Discord, guys. Exclamation mark TMM Discord uh, in the chat in order to get that link. I'm sure Blue will pop it up. Thank, Thank you, Blue. You Blue. Um, so, so you guys have until, I'd say probably Wednesday at the yeah. latest Wednesday to, to get that in. He, he might. Uh, Tuesday at the latest. I'm going to be frank. Get it by Tuesday. I know some people have already submitted stuff, so I'm going to be looking at those first. Uh, but if it's not evident by Tuesday, I am going to be busy Wednesday. So you yeah. got You got your timelines, everybody. Awesome stream today. Love the fuck out of you guys. Good job on that hype train. We got to what, yeah. level two? That was awesome. Um, congratulations to everyone who got emotes and stuff out of that. Thank you all for the support. Love you guys. Sarah, I hope uh, I haven't seen you post up anything in chat, so I hope you're cool with our discussion. I hope you're good, Sarah. Um, guys, we'll be back next Sunday for uh, this tech dungeon that seems kind of a little difficult. Uh, right. Yeah, I need to up I My bow wrecks through them, but I need to upgrade my spear for sure. Ah, I got you. That's like my half spear a mil, needs right? uh I have to probably have enough money for it. No, I don't probably have enough money. I need to no, do a couple. It's probably runs. like a, it's probably like half um, a mil. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. End of the stream, guys. Love y'all. Wash your fucking hands. Wear a mask. Stay safe. We'll see you guys later. Beep, bop, boop. <laughs>